slam three times Greetings. in my life. Hey, oh, what's up? Who would a bar to start off with? <laughs> Greetings, oh, salutations, yes. and good morrow. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. My name's Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> Howdy, 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 howdy. Good to be back. All right, who's giving me the fucking recap? That's me. You are. You? All right. Yeah. I mean, you did sign up for it, Adam, you know? <laughs> oh, me? Sure. Uh, last time, y'all sucked. Now, just go ahead. <laughs> no, no, wow. So he no, did no. do it on purpose. No! Last time yeah. on the Dark Sermon, my squad struggled against the Crown Thieves Bandits. And although we lost, let us celebrate the unity of the team, the great ferocity of Mikael's critical smite, Gideon's ferocious blows, and Farron's quick adaptation to her Corviknight rogue, Corviknight rogue abilities. We welcome our new captain to the fold. And with that, well, the Crown Thieves bandits quickly pilfered some valuable potions and fled the scenes as Warhorns heralded fast approaching hoofbeats. And that is where we left off. Also, it's Corvin, not Corvinites, but <laughs> it is Corvin. It's oh, wild. It's, it's it's whatever. It is all verbs. Ah, Corvids. Yes. I think we should go back to Gilnaeus. Or excuse me, <laughs> Gilnaeus. <laughs> we should go Ridiculous. back to Gilnaeus and play World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You mean did you, uh, did you guys? Hear, did you guys hear my funny joke? Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty sure Lord it's has a nice Giles. Going in I think I'm going to start <laughs> shitting myself. I'm so happy. It looks like Glyze to me. <laughs> yeah, it's going to Gilligan's it's, Isle. Yeah, the it's first Giles. time I read it was Glyze. Was how it's, I read it's, it. It's Giles. But you, you know. can see where Galeas comes from. That it's it's understandable. Oh yes, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go down this rabbit hole. It's uh, all your fault, Cape. Sometimes, sometimes you it. can also see where I came from, and then I'm dead. It, what? What? <laughs> Uh-oh, uh, I think what, what, is, what, is, what is wrong? Something happened. What is, what is going on here? I don't Mike. know. You're, you're oh, Matheria's like, light I'm is scared. blessing us. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I said, let the light flow through you. I, uh, I actually don't know why it's doing that. Please wait one moment while I unfuck this situation. <laughs> Blessings <laughs> of Matheria be upon thee. The canonical classical. I swear this is what happens you know, when you don't turn on dark mode. Flashbang. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> There we go. There we go. For some I reason, um, for I turned on Omega Earth. light mode. <laughs> Shamber is in shambles after watching that, dude. Get it? He's in shambles? Isn't that fucking funny? It's Please laugh! Hilarious. Please laugh! I am inside. Deep, deep, deep down. Oh my god. <laughs> we have fun here at the Glory Stream. Of course. Oh, 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 oh. Mostly making fun of me. <laughs> but that's okay. And looking forward to that hot tub stream. I'm You're on stage. I'm a big, strong man. People can make fun of me. Yay. And after all, they've also you know, gave me their money to do so. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> Arcadum, don't even pretend you don't have the coolest God, why is, in the world. Why did you... <laughs> Hold on, I just have to say something. I want you guys to know that Waymaker recently sent me the thickest old lady orc I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. She's pretty hot. Ooh. She is like... <gasps> she is like... Just, just on my mind. <laughs> Let me tell you, dude. <laughs> Good. <laughs> is this the one that... Yes, oh, the one you man. colored, Essie. Rosie, you know. are you ready, Mikhail? <laughs> Is it my mother? Yes, hmm. yes Essie calls her Rosie. She's probably not Rosie, but whatever. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, that's enough having fun. Now it's time to have another kind of fun. Are you having fun mm. yet? <laughs> Starts <to> scream. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm waiting yes. for my government-assisted wife you're about to give me. My <laughs> government-assisted <laughs> wife? Dude, could you imagine? Like, <laughs> man, that'd be crazy, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you're a little bit too lonely and fucking sad. 
Go ahead and sign go, up buddy. today for your government issued wife. Just airdrop her. It's fine. <laughs> On an Amazon <laughs> an Amazon <laughs> drone, dude, just flies her in, dude. <laughs> That'd be so crazy. But or no, husband, no, it's whatever, you know, maybe the ladies want a husband. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the ladies want a wife, too. Yeah, you know? that's... Mm -hmm. that too. Okay, no. fine. Yes. Uh, yeah, we get it. You're gay. <laughs> My I'm not gay. I, not, oh, shut up, Fishman. Fishman. My God. How dare you bring my last name into this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm... I got energy for jokes today, guys. No, I love it. Yeah, Yay. we love this. All right, it is at this point. Um, oh, hold on, I have to make one thing here. Uh, God, I hate spelling lieutenant. I love this music. LT. Oh, LT. LT. LT, there you go. <laughs> I was about to say just Glad we were all on the same page. Power move. You mean <laughs> lieutenant? <laughs> Lift. Le lieutenant. Lieutenant. Oh, that's right. It's, it, it's, it's, it's lieutenant, that's right. Yeah. Oh. What about colonel? Yes. Colonel <laughs> Mustard. Leo. Lieutenant. <laughs> and what are you doing today, Lieutenant? Oh, probably eating ass. I, I love this language. Bad jokes. Sorry. <laughs> did you think didn't that was make a bad joke? She just thought one. I did. You, you thought a bad joke and then no, didn't it say a, it? It was a mean joke. It wasn't like bad, like dirty. It was just mean. Uh -huh. And I, I shouldn't be uh -huh. mean. See, I don't know to be mad at Essie. America or to be mad at Britain for the way Essie, you are. Called. Man. <laughs> you, you spell Lieutenant like. Glias. Oh. That See, was my joke. that's fucking hilarious. Oh, no, it's mean. No, that dude, <laughs> fucking, are you serious? That's mean? <laughs> dude, Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Me. I can't are you not. That. Are you not. Hurt in your soul. That's how you're deep down. She's getting a bone-shattering hug next Pain. time I see her. Oh <laughs> man, a bone cracking, cartilage crackling. Oh, Where is my knuckle that? popping? Please, I my back hurts. It's all soft. All right, here we go. I actually really like this guy's chin. That you made? Like, I don't know, it's like... One of the best parts about getting art requests from Waymaker is I get, like, this whole cavalcade of, like, I just need some randomized NPCs, and then I'll just make up shit based off what he's drawn, and it's so good. That's how Gabe, people... that's how Gabe was made. Like, he Gabe just... is so... What a legend. Gabe is cool. Gabe. Yeah. <laughs> this dude's a got such deal. a chin on him, bro. It's like... <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, at this point, the rapid hoof beats will descend down the road, and then a contingent of horses will stop before you. You raise your weapons in defense, not quite knowing what to expect, when suddenly the shining symbol of both the shield of Metheria on a pendant and the recognizable logos of the Lantern Bridge estate upon a shield indicate to you that you are not in danger any longer. And although there are many horsemen here, these two stand out. All right. Waymaker, please introduce yourself and your character. Hey, I'm Waymaker, and I've been in a couple of different games. Uh, I'm one of the artists here at the Glory Stream, and uh, my character is Ginny Lanternbridge, uh, eldest daughter of the Lanternbridge family. And sister to Tauri. And Sister to Tellery. <laughs> oh, and you also see this guy. Th th this, this guy. That man. Look at his fucking chin, dude. This is the chin you like? <laughs> Look at his fucking that is a, chin. That is an excellent chin. He's... You can't punch him out. Dude, he has so much chin, bro. He'll break your fist. What happened to his helmet, though? He took a big hit to the head. No, that's a Cossack helmet. That's a Cossack helmet. Okay. Taped. Uh, you need to do your uh, shut the hell research. up, Fishman. <laughs> right. It just looks like somebody took a big ass fucking hammer to that helmet. That's what it looks like to me. All right. It is purposeful. It has purpose. So they I'm come sure. riding up, and then you will see the lieutenant hop off of his horse. You there? I state your faction. Hmm. We are Inquisition, of course, from the church. 
Letharians out this far. Well, it hmm. looks like you were right, Lantern Bridge. Lieutenant Foros, contingent militia of the Shade Row Mercenary Companies, at your service. Interesting. Lieutenant, should we not send some men uh, to chase down over the hill and make sure that they're not coming back? Thorn, it, his his name is literally right. You can just look at his name to spell yeah, it right. Just... Oh, what are you? you. What are you? Do, what are you? Mouse over him. <laughs> All right. Anyway, he will continue and say. <coughs> Sorry. Hold on. What is this effect on us? What is this? Uh, oh, sanctified, probably, probably sanctified still. About from... sanctified, yeah. Oh, hold on. Let we me... are all very holy. Hold on. Let me yes. let me move her We're the fuck out of people. here. Get out of here. I'm I'm bleeding holy into all of you. It's just me. Um. Delete. I'm the most holy of us all. Okay. Hold on. I'm I'm fixing this real quick. It's gonna drive me crazy. Get rid of. <laughs> oh no. Her light is gone. Just met instantly dead. Hmm. <laughs> Let me just do this. Hey, Mikael. There. <laughs> okay, where was I? Oh yes. Well, it looks like you were right, Lighton Bridge. And as for those crown thieves, we're on strict orders to escort you to Dark Lake. We don't have time to be go chasing some bandits off into who knows where. Besides, we'll get our chance to fight them again. Hmm. Very well. You there, pointing at Farron. You're the captain, yes? Of this of contingent? Yes. State your business. Why is the Inquisition here, and why have we not been informed of it? Well, uh, for one thing, I assume that's because we're Inquisition, and what we do is on a need-to-know basis. But, uh, to answer your question, we are on our way to Dark Lake for reasons of our own. He'll raise a single eyebrow. Do you have any knowledge of this, Lantern Bridge? Hmm. Some. I was definitely sent in this direction to find uh, the uh, Inquisition group that was sent to Dark Lake as a uh, reinforcement and attaché of sorts. I see. Well, it seems that serendipity has led the two of you together. Good, as I would hate to repeat the trip. Hmm. Are any of you injured? No. A few. I... Are that grievous? Can you travel? I can travel. It's a flesh wound. Good. We have spare horses. You might have to double up. We have expressed orders to get to Dark Lake as soon as possible. We are to meet at Osen's Chapel for the next phase of your operation. No need to tell me anything. My orders are only to get you there and to provide watch guard. Me and my men have been paid most handsomely to do so. But understand this. We are no Metharians. We're not going to help you fight demons. We've got our own problems. As long as nothing terrible like that happens, we shouldn't have a problem. Your assistance on the trip so far has been incredibly helpful, and I have appreciated it. I am glad to hear that you are going to continue with us too, Dark Lake. Um, become friends with some of your men. It would be nice to see them still. He, he doesn't know what to say to that, so he'll just continue... So as long as you act right underneath my command, you'll be fine. He'll look to each of you. Also, whilst we respect the Metharian right to practice their religion whenever they want, we also respect the right of others to believe what they want. I'll not have any burnings of my men. Do we understand one another? Ah, uh, yes. Of course, because, as I'm assuming you have the proper paperwork, it would not be uh, for me to decide against the that. He'll reach I don't into, see any problems. He'll reach into his pack and he will present it. He'll glance it over quickly and, and nod. It seems, um, so here's the thing. He has permission to not perform the litanies to Metheria, meaning he has the right to choose not to be pious to Metheria. The document does not actually allow the worship of other gods or other such heretical actions. It is probably likely he is unaware of that, however, as it is written in um, quite a bit of legalese. Yeah, and he's just the lieutenant, right? Yeah, he, he's, um, he's all chin, no brain, 
as you might yeah. all suspect. <laughs> <laughs> he, you think he got the job because he uh, he could block arrows with his face. <laughs> Jenny yeah. will kind of poke around him, just kind of like around past his hips, and just kind of give uh, Farron a nod of acknowledgement. Farron ignores well, the nod, but nods to the lieutenant and hands him his papers back. All right, he'll put them away. <clears throat> all right, then. Everyone to a horse. We're burning daylight here. And a few horses are brought to the front, around the side, for all of you to make use of. Oh, I like horses. I think I'll ride this one. Metharia's Blessings. <laughs> Mr. Charles, why ride a horse when you could ride your fancy flying lion thing? I don't want to freak anyone out. <laughs> Free horse. Come on, Thorn. I'll help you up. I also don't have any room on my exposure sheet to do that. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh. Horses. Hmm. By the way, your childhood friend's sister's here. Ginny will glare at that remark. What? <laughs> what? What a bombshell! Anyway. What? What? Ginny will also glare for different reasons. <laughs> Who am I riding um, with? Because I'm very small for a horse. Whoops. I guess that's a wall. Who's, who's... That makes sense. Uh. <laughs> Let me just... Hold on. Where'd Thorn go? There she is. Alright, let's go. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna sh Okay. Not right now, Gideon. What's not right now? Yes. She points at the lieutenant's like. What do you we're talking not discussing about? Discussing this right now. Discussing Nothing. what, Dawn? What? What? Exactly. Very good, Mikhail. Were you friends with her brother or something? Oh, that's... N nervously looks vaguely at Jenny. Like, not, not right now. Is that a blushing helmet? That's the helmet helmets. Oh, I, I was zoomed out, so all I saw was a strip of red. I was like, is that a blushing helmet? <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that threw me the fuck off. We're in the darkness. We don't exist right now. Hello, oh, darkness, my Keep your eyes I'm fucking head. loading. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Let me know when you guys are loaded. I am loaded. I am loaded. Okay, everybody should be loading pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Even on the secondary PC. Very good. Good. This pleases me. And... Give me just a second. I'm doing some quick loading here. I'll give you two. Oh, the rations have been doubled. Okay. Let's see. All right, where where the lieutenant go? Oh, there he is. Come here, Chen. <laughs> here comes the crimson chin. Let me get you guys some storytelling music here. There we go. No, that's not right. I need this. This is this is the one. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, 
party makes its way down the road, and eventually you find yourself stand like you're about a mile or so outside of Dark Lake. You can see the city rise up in front of you. It's an impressive sized one, not nearly as large as the Pale City, uh, probably one of the smaller cities of the continent, but still fairly impressive to look at it from this far away. And also being on the lake means it has a couple of nifty looking, a, a quainter accoutrements than perhaps other cities might have. You find yourself stopping in front of what appears to be an old abbey. The bared markings of Metheria can be seen over the weather, uh, over the weather eroded stone. Her holy semblance still visible, even now. The lieutenant and his men will ride up to the gate, and he will depart from his horse and will walk up towards it. A few heavy knocks will sound as he waits. The doors will open from servants. And each of you will be led inside to meet with your contact. The lieutenant will give each of you a nod as he goes back to the encampment with his men. Which is just just outside here. Like, he's not very far away. Mm. All right. Mm. And you are led inside to the meeting chamber where you are instructed to wait until the master of the chapel comes to greet you. Hey, I'll, I'll move you guys. I'll move you. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Jenny. All right. You guys can talk to each other a little bit as it'll take some time for the master to arrive. So go right ahead. With a little mm. bit of a trained smile and with a wave. Thorn will go. H Hello, Jenny. Hmm. Hello. So you're traveling with us? Could you tell us a little bit more as to what you've heard on the mission? Ah, uh, well, I know that your group is um, tasked with going south, or to here. I suppose we are south now. And um, I know you're after the sagas of Sol uh, the Solace of Souls, which was stolen. Um, something about Risen... Uh, some undead prince ling thing. And, uh, we're also in the east, which is where my other mission is, but that one's on a personal note. <laughs> so, crown thieves, huh? Uh, don't even get me started. <laughs> they were very well, well equipped. One of them had a breastplate that had the symbol of the sword on it, so they apparently have been stealing our equipment. Mm. Yes, they are infamous. Uh, they're nasty. Real collection of no good troublemakers, and they're motivated by some misguided sense of justice, so they're all deserters from the church, the lot of them. Uh, I've actually browsed dossiers on each of them. They're dangerous and sometimes tragic. Glad you made it through that. Really? Maybe you'll have to catch us up on those dossiers later. It's not like they're a problem that's going to fix themselves. Hmm, no. They're rabid dogs, and someone's going to have to deal with those societal leeches eventually, but that's not why we're here. Of Speaking of dossiers, uh, you weren't on mine for this mission. Uh, do tell me, what exactly are we doing in each other's company? Pardon me. Um, allow me to introduce myself properly. I am S.H.I.E.L.D. Genevieve Lantern Bridge. Um, my goals and yours intersect, in a way. Um, I'm, I've been tasked as an attaché to assist and 
grow the strength of your party, as the um, Inquisition has found that this task may actually be bigger than originally anticipated. A little extra muscle might have been in order, and it coincided with my own journey to the east. I've been trying to find my brother, and the last I've heard is that he's here somewhere. Really? What is he here for? I was actually honestly about to ask you. Um, I you're his friend. Him since he... You... What you would he be know. doing in the East? I... I don't know. We both know he's terrible at these communicating things. I've literally have not heard anything from him since he left the Razor Cliffs. That's very much like him. He's been missing for a year, a little over a year, and he's only sent one letter to the family, rather to Ma and no one else. But I am worried about him, so I'm hoping to find him in, in the journey as well, but that's not my primary reason for being here. I'm here to reinforce your group, and if I happen to find more clues as to his whereabouts, then good. And I would be happy to help in this endeavor. I, I worry about him. And she leans against the table with the elbows and holds her head a bit after headache. It is is he out here by himself or is he with a group of people? Last, last I heard, based on the evidence I've collected, uh, he was in the Razor Cliffs for a little while. Uh, was involved with a certain. Uh, apostate Captain Hold of the Shield. Big mess that was. And um, he oh, hasn't been himself. seen since. Oh. Yes, well, that Captain family Hold. is a mess altogether. Yeah, you remember the, the Duke that we captured? He was Hold. Like, that was his brother. Yes, Duke and... Hold in the Pale City has been... Um... Yes. Shares a look. What? Wasn't it your group that took care of him? I, you, you were. At least I recognized three of you as as part of the group that my my dial was working with for a little while. This door will suddenly open. Oh. Sits up. Mm. Is it not He's adjusting here. your camera? Uh, no. Ah, there we go. There it is. There we go. All right. This door will open, and in will walk a calmly-looking servant with a handsome mustache. He is carrying a large tray. Pardon me, your lords and ladyships. He starts handing out some lunch. Hmm. Thank you very much, sir. What is the mm. lunch? Yes, thank you. All right, thank it you. seems that lunch today is shepherd's pie. And each of you will be given a cold glass of milk. Thank you. Ah, my favorite. Ah, let's say for the, uh, gracias. He'll look, at each, he'll look at each of you, and then he'll nod. Mm. Be sure to eat up, get nice, big, and strong, so you can fight them demons, eh? <laughs> if you've been Finally, eating anything... If you've been eating anything, you can just come find me. My name's Mr. Milk. I'll take good care of you. Wait, Mr. Milk, what do you mean fighting demons? Oh, whatever it is you church people get up to. You know, fighting demons or fighting heretics, uh, healing the sick and wounded, um, uh, taxes, uh, <laughs> bake sales, you know, church activities. Uh. I've been to a few weddings too. In fact, I remember the... Oh, oh, I'm rambling again. Not this time, Mr. Milk. He'll bop himself on the nose. If you need anything, you just come find me, okay? I'll make sure you're nice and fed. Get lots of milk, too. Make your bones nice and strong and make your skin silky like mine. Blessings of the light upon you. If you also need someone to do your wedding, I can do it for you. Oh, Um, I thank you, friend, but... uh, I'm here to serve you, not the other way around. <laughs> His mustache will quiver with excitement and joy. 
I'll be outside if you need anything. Alright, well, everyone, before we dig in, um, shall we hold hands? Oh, God. Of, of course. Of course. <coughs> Here we go. <laughs> Are we hand-holding? Are we gonna, we gonna do we a group holding. prayer? Yeah. All right. Who's who's mm -hmm. leading the prayer? Who's, whoever leads the prayer is winning. He win. They win. They win. I am. Oh, okay. I win. Shall we bow? Nossa Senhora da Luz e Graça, abençoe e purifique essa comida. Muito obrigado. And I will cast a um, purify food and drink. Did you say Metheria and all of that? I didn't hear any Metheria. I did. I did. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, nice prayer in Halfling. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Portuguese! That was beautiful, Jenny. Ambulance! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Special hand sort of sweeping along the table find her way through the meal all right would anyone appreciate an extra glass of milk i'll take it if you don't want it pass takes it <laughs> you want to split that glass gideon <laughs> <laughs> but, well, Gideon cuts Are you going to baby bird it to him too? Oh, well. <laughs> hey, you want to split that glass of milk? What is uh, hey. No, but if you want it, you can just have it. Uh, thank you, Mimigo. <laughs> Pass <laughs> the glass. <laughs> Mephos so will slide his milk to Gideon. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Give us. People are just uh, passing milk, dude. <laughs> they want double milk, so. All right, all right. You, guys, like you, you guys keep doing this milk RP. I'm going to go piss uh, real quick. Jenny grasps her glass of milk with both hands and immediately chugs it. She doesn't want anybody taking her food. <laughs> there you go, Mr. This is my milk. <laughs> you can guide me to mine. Go, 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 go. And if you can speak up a little bit there, Mythos. Yeah. He said, here you go, Mr. Gideon. I didn't need mine. Oh, uh. Th thank you. Mm -hmm. Idiot, idiot. You know, why don't you want to see who could chug these faster? <laughs> no. All right. No. <laughs> well, you're not a betting man. You don't have you have no pride. I, mm. I just uh. want to enjoy my meal. I don't need to race to drink milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're leaving them to that. Baron. Mm hmm. What's something that you're that you're hoping for? Ah, uh, there are many things I am hoping for. In particularly, what aspect? It's an open question, meant to be answered as you wish. Hmm. Well, then I suppose um, one of the foremost things would be I hope this mission goes successfully, so that upon our return to the Pale City. Uh, you all are finally recognized for your good deeds, and perhaps less of your failures. <laughs> C cringes hard. <laughs> uh, eats. All right. It is at this um, point nom, nom. that the door opens once more, and in walks a mysterious stranger. Sorry. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> A mysterious stranger with that voice. Uh, you see this man enter the room. He moves quickly and with purpose. No movement or energy wasted. And he will oh. take a seat. And you see ah. this guy. Ah, uh, yes. Adros. Nice of you to join us. He will nod and he will say, I want to give my apologies. I was delayed due to the funeral procession. I am here. And we have much to discuss and little time to discuss it. First, introductions. I am Inquisitor Cast, Servant of her ladyship. 
I have been sent here to oversee this mission and to give you a proper briefing. And you are? Captain Farron Inkholt. Uh, Gideon. Thorn Saltspire. Ethos Thyrene. Oh, oh sorry. This food is very good. <clears throat> My name is Mikaela Grace. I'm Shield Lantern Bridge. Charles Amberkeep. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the man will nod, and he will continue. <clears throat> I will be forthright. The Dark Lake is infected with heresy. Not blatant, not brazen but hidden and secret. What little I have been able to discover on my own has indicated that it will be very difficult for us to complete our mission as we are. For those that live in the Dark Lake are not trusting and are quite hostile towards servants of Mytheria. I am afraid that from this henceforth you are not to wear your symbology you are to keep your service a secret, for it is the only way for our mission to succeed. Hmm. Within a few days, a nobleman from Dark Lake, yet to return to the city from a trade route abroad, will meet us here at Osin Chapel. He has agreed to assist Mytheria in her grace by taking us all on as servants within his household. It is imperative that you use your positions in such a way as to gain the people's trust and to root out this heretical sect wherever we may find it. He will then place a dossier on the table and pass it out to everyone. Here is the information that we have collected so far. The bastardized offspring of the Barrow King, apparently possesses the holy artifact in their midst. He will pass Braille to you, by the way, Thorn. Oh, I never learned Braille. He doesn't know that. <laughs> Upon seeing you not reading it with your hands, he will cough awkwardly and remember to remind himself of to do something about that. Anyway, he will continue, and he will say, The offspring has the bell. The problem is we do not know exactly where she is in the Dark Lake, or it, whatever. We also do not know just how extensive their sect is. To go in with our swords drawn and with our litanies blaring would be a foolish action, for we would capture little and learn nothing. This particular serpent, you must have a subtle hand to capture. This is what we do know. The people have taken to a new ritualistic fancy. Apparently, they are preparing for some kind of festival, the winter solstice, to herald in the new spring. Now, as it is just on the cusp of autumn, it is imperative that we use these next few months to indoctrinate ourselves into this ritual, into this religion that they have conjured up for themselves. We must find where these heretical rituals are taking place. We must capture those responsible, interrogate them, and eventually, hopefully, find our way to this offspring of the Barrow King and to take back our holy artifact. Are there any questions so far? No, sir. None. You no, sir. Say, you say religion? Are they worshipping a particular deity? It is not quite so organized as that. We believe... Ginny narrows her eyes at Gideon. We believe it is far more likely that it is a attempt at merrymaking. 
We believe that whatever this sect is doing, it is convincing the people that what they are doing is not heretical. They may even use Metheria's name as bastardized vain. What is clear is that the people are preparing for something. Something that we do not know what it is exactly they are doing. There are a few that have been sent ahead of you, and we have already lost contact with them. I suspect that they have been slain, or worse, betrayed. We have no evidence to suggest, however, that they have spoken of their true purpose, only that they are missing. As an additional side objective, if you should happen to discover their fates, the Pale City is prepared to reward us for such an action. The Inquisition shall also see that you are given appropriate valors and accommodations. The main mission is to retrieve the bell. Do not get sidetracked looking for those that have been lost to darkness. Their sacrifice to Metheria will be most respected by the completion of the mission. But should you find them, or it would not detract too much from your main objective, then you are instructed to find them. Are there any questions about this? None, sir. Mm. Do we perhaps have a list of names or dossiers on the ones who have been lost and how to head? He'll look down at the dossier and point underneath it. There's a whole list of them there. Cool. Jenny's already been like reading through the whole dossier and pulls out a little quill and is making notes in the corners and the margins. While well, Thorne is not reading it. In addition, Dark Lake is a large city. Perhaps not as large as the Pale City, not even close, but large enough that this search and integration will take some time. As to ensure that your combat edge does not dull, there have also been permissions given for the supplying and restructuring of your combat acumen. That is one of the duties that I shall be providing. How so or what exactly is entailed? The challenges that you are to face when the time comes to take down this cult will require specialized training. I have read the reports given from your previous escapades. There is definitely work that needs to be done. We're in nods uh -huh. in agreement. <laughs> Do you mean to say that you'll be giving us training based on the types of unique training you've received, sir? Yes, and any that I cannot provide will be provided for by a specialist of my choosing. Understood. In the meantime, take your time and get to know this place, as it will be your home for some time. That is all I have to tell you for now. There are letters that I must send. In the morning, we shall begin direct preparations. And hopefully, Sir Luman would have arrived by then. He will stand up. Salute. Or he escapes. Yeah. Uh, Inquisitor Cast, uh, these letters that you're sending, are they heading to the Pale City? They are. I have a courier. May, I, may I include some correspondence of my own? You have until evening to deliver them to me. Good. Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good. Uh, Jenny. Wow. On that note, would you be able to include that I will be, I suppose, here for some extended time to receive letters? I suppose I can work that in. Thank you. You were well, saying, Captain? 
Mm. I was just going to comment on how it does seem that uh, things have certainly changed from when we were first briefed. Uh, Not terrible, that so. Happened to us a lot. Is he, actually. Is he gone? Oh, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. I'll hold up a finger. Shh. Good little inquisitors get desserts, they do. And he'll start handing out cookies to everyone. Mm. Don't tell anyone I did it. Metharia's promise. Weak. Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. He'll scuttle away. You can't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Grace, what is wrong? I want a more nuke. Wow. This is why Get you don't chug it all at once. Can't a man like milk? Is that an issue for you? You can like milk. If you want something, you should state it clearly before they walk out of the room. I tried. He put down. I wanted him to finish what he was saying, then he ran. I imagine being a man as large as yourself would make it easier to get people's attention, but apparently, that's not the case. I don't want to scream in here! <laughs> Enjoy the bountiful gifts we've been given. Greed does not become you. Hmm. Much as uh, Captain Farron? Mm, yes? I, I did have a quick question regarding something I mentioned before at the previous end we are going to be having some time here before we set out. Do you think you could help train me for a while? I've been yes. watching your techniques as you've been here, and you have a wide variety of skills that I'd like to try and pick up on. We do seem to have a little more time, so I suppose we can spend some of it training, as long as it does not detract too much from Inquisitor Cast training. That'll be interesting, I think. Fine. I'm I very interested in Inquisitor Cast. Time without issue. Hmm. What was interesting, or what did you notice about him, Jenny? Oh, you see. Uh, Inquisitor Cast happens to be a blank. Oh. And has very special training based on that unique trait. Hmm. Oh. Got a interesting story that's actually tied to the crown thieves if you'd care to know is it something related to the caster that we saw that was with them hmm. i noticed that In they both fact, had similar yes. last name mm, yes that was callous cast he's um an apostate as you may well have noticed and a dangerous one uh, he was in he was actually involved in some kind of heretical ritual that removed the magic from his brother and made his brother a blank as it is um that brother, uh, Inquisitor Cast, was taken in by the church and given special training to make use of his rare condition. I hear there are interesting pros and cons, and she'll kind of glance over at Thorn. Thorn is nervous that she didn't share this bit. Well, I've read your dossier as well. You're not hiding that from me. In fact, the only people that I don't know anything about here are um, Captain Farron and Mythos and um, Charles. Did you break into your father's office again? Oh, no, I didn't have to do that. He hmm. talks about work around the dinner table sometimes. You, at least you three, definitely gave him quite amount, an amount of stress. But I will say that he was proud. Uh, most of his stories did go shifting constantly from, wow, they're very cool, to, oh my goodness, the headaches. I... my condolences. I'm glad there were some some bright spots for him. Hey, Reva, can you uh, lean into your mic ah. a little bit? Like, I got yeah. you at 200% and people can ah. hear you. <laughs> ah, yes. I Much can. Better. I can do that. Thank you, thank you. But... Hmm... He did like you, in the end. I, My opinion I, remains the same, but, you know. I, I know. But we need to get along. The mission comes first. 
I don't see a problem with getting along. I just... <clears throat> I know. Jenny, you're not like my friend Thorn. Uh, you didn't watch her grow up. No, but... So what's your problem? I did... Well, technically I did. She was much smaller before. Then she <laughs> got buff. So I have watched her Literal grow. glow up. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. So you see, Miss Saltfire was... A little bit... A little bit different. I did almost not recognize her, that's true. Things were different, and that's understandable, and... Maybe, maybe we don't need to. No, need to. You were hiding something from us, Thorn. It's not relevant. We have a mission to look forward. Like we need to look forward. There's no sense in mucking about in the past. Agreed. <sighs> but no, I'm. I'm not. Jenny's favorite, and that, and that's okay. We'll work together, and achieve Farron's hope. Returning to the Pale City, well and accomplished. Yes. Mission first. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the mission, while we have a moment to ourselves, um, I would just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Uh, since we are all Inquisitors, uh, yourself excluded, perhaps, Genevieve, I believe you're still only S.H.I.E.L.D., correct? Purely S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm. I don't altogether, um, well, the Inquisition really kind of operates outside the rules sometimes, does it not? Uh, it could be said that way. It uh, is more hard times call for hard decisions. Well, you understand. We are all one under her light, regardless. Uh, I believe it is important to note she glances at Gideon and then around the rest of the table that when an order is given, uh, it is to be followed. And in this instance, my order here is that we do not make friends with any of the townsfolk. That is not our quest. We are here for a purpose, and we cannot allow ourselves to be swayed by their attitudes. So, when talking to them, it is on a need-to-know basis. Do not tell them anything of us. Do not ask particularly leading questions, be wary of what you say, and might I suggest listening. Listening goes much further when it comes to gathering the intel we will need. Yes, my captain. Understood. I, In the I event... don't see an issue. Oh, good. Anyone else? Mm. Uh, we'll just stare at her. Look down on her. She will Naturally. feel the stare and look up <laughs> and meet his eye. Uh, in the event that things go difficultly and it turns out to be harder than expected, if there are hard choices to be made, let me make them. All I expect of you is for you to be good soldiers and to follow the orders that I or Inquisitor Cast give. Understood? Understood. Yes, and Jenny will salute. Yes, yes, at ease. Hmm. Thoughts? Thorn? It would... It would be helpful to align and bear that much faith if you could tell us more about you said your hope in this narrow sense but more so if we could build understanding to 
Mm. Who you are as a person or where your decisions, your actions ultimately lie why you fight what the dream is for permission to speak captain mm, go ahead it is not the duty of a soldier to understand the captain's reasonings for orders we're here to do a job if captain Farron has been assigned to captain this mission then while we may give suggestions and insight, in the end, she makes the call. True, but Thorn is not entirely wrong. You do want to make sure that your captain is someone worthy of your trust. You would still be expected to follow their orders nonetheless, but I'm assuming it would rest easier if you knew the, uh... Background is such a large word, but... Do you I feel am, that I your squad does like not trust sentence. you, Captain? Well, trust is also a large word, isn't it? I don't entirely expect them to appreciate me. I'm recently assigned, as it were, and they haven't had the time to grow to know me quite as well as they knew their previous captain. And I came in at a rough patch in their lives, one might say. So harboring resentment is understandable. Uh, I do not know that... Everything is necessary to be said. In that instance, I agree with Genevieve. But, suffice it to say that I have come from a background outside of Metheria's light. I grew up surrounded by heretical thoughts and apostasy in rather rampant amounts. And since the church finding me, I have come to realize that those ways were wrong. How so? That is a deep question, Thorn. Mm. Deeper than I might be inclined to answer at this time. You don't have enough Understood. <laughs> Sorry. Just know that... <laughs> I've been on the side of Ron. I understand how easy it is to be swayed by hmm, false theories, I suppose, and, and rituals that seem more tangible in the moment, more hopeful than something you perhaps can't see or hear up front. Uh, but I have had those ways proven to be incorrect, and I believe that the church is doing what is right, and as such, I follow and fight for them to see the rest of the world set right. Is that a sufficient enough answer? Yes, thank you, Captain. Of course. Perhaps sometime later, I may yet share with you the depth of everything. Mm, but not right now. As you wish. And if you need to get to know us as well, there will be time for that. <laughs> of course. Although I must say I do learn quite a lot from just sitting and listening to you all ramble. <laughs> oh dear. As I mentioned, listening is actually one of the ways to find most information, more so than asking. Mythos nods to this. Do, do, do I ramble? <laughs> you might be surprised by my answer. But yes. Yes, you do. You and Mikael especially, and Thorn, the three of you, bickering and bantering back and forth. I didn't notice I rambled. It's just in good frontline <laughs> rapport. <laughs> literally told you yap too much. That's funny. Is there anything else on your mind? No, just to remember our duties first. Don't make friends. Follow the orders. 
But if it is something that you disagree with, follow it nonetheless, but if you feel guilty about it, feel free to pass that guilt back up the chain of command. Let it rest on my shoulders and the shoulders of my superiors where it belongs. We are the ones making the hard decisions and the hard calls. Don't let that settle in on your hearts. Hmm. For now, I suspect we should enjoy ourselves while we have some free time before the training starts. Oh dear. Enjoy ourselves? What do you propose, Captain? <laughs> I was thinking of going to Mr. Milk and asking for a cup of tea. Ah. Wow. Perhaps we'll see if they have some real excited. drinks in this place. <sighs> <sighs> Let's right. see. I think I'm going to find our sleeping quarters and store my gear, as it's not going to be needed for this quest, at least not for now. Mm. Fair Actually, enough. A oh. Thing to do. We'll mm. also store mine away. Should we buddy system? I suppose. Are you afraid mm -hmm. of getting lost in, in a new place? Hey. Looks away conspicuously. <laughs> oh yeah, remember because she's blind. So, uh, Thorn, how about you and uh, Mythos stay with me and um, Gideon, Charles, and Mikael, if you'd like to stay together. Perhaps uh, befriend Genevieve a little more. Since, since... My tiny squad seems to already know her, for the most part. Uh, sh sure. Very well. Buddy system. We'll try it out. Are you done eating, Gideon? Yeah, I'm, I'm done, but not what I envisioned doing after the meal, but it is what it is. I guess mm. let's go talk to Jenny. Charles. Arcadum, what do I see here? Okay. Time for me to give you guys a tour. Oh, boy. Oh. This, this is the um, exposition room. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, it's got a little sign on the door. Uh, this is where you go to pray and have Wednesday Mass. This, is a, this is a sitting area where you can, like, read some stuff. Okay, this is the bathroom. These, and uh, these are showers and bathroom. This is the pantry. The barracks. The training yard. Nice. Cool. There you go. Everything you need. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, nice. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is a cell. Sorry, this is a cell. Yeah. Okay. This is oh. for this oh. is for people that you capture. Okay. Ha. I, I I was wondering why there's like two separate bath. I was like, hmm. That one's the 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 bathroom for bad people. Yes. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Thorn gets dragged with us, but she's a yeah. Yes, yes. Thorn, Thorn is with our buddy group. Weep! <laughs> As I pass through this room, I'm just kind of having a little glance at, at titles on the spines of these books. Uh, yes, funny enough... Those books are facing the right direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were before. <laughs> oh my god. Now we're having this. <laughs> Not this shit Poor again. Colossus. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> But yes, the secondary bathroom where we shit on the bad people. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> these tomes possess, actually, instructions on fighting mages, how to deal with them. Also, church sanctified books, books and tomes on the use of magic. Pretty controlled Ooh. stuff to be here in a random abbey. Yes. 
and in such an open room, too. They must really not be concerned about people making their way in here. Oh, Genevieve. Captain. Uh, Thorn suggested something, and for now, I say we try it out. Uh, she suggested a buddy system. I believe if you wouldn't mind hanging out with uh, Mikael and Gideon and Charles. Unless you'd rather hang I, with us. I... Are you assigning me to these people, Captain? Mm, just to try it out, yes. To uh, see how well you all work together, since we'll be working together, as it were. <laughs> all right. Thank you. And she walks on. Oh, p pardon me. Pardon me, Lady Lanternbridge. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, we got here first. We get top side or bottom side. You choose whatever you want. I'm not a fan of top bunks if we're bunking. It's a long way up. Mm -hmm. Get it? Because she's a <laughs> half. <halfling. laughs> I'm I'm half the halflings in Corvanus. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Arcadum, do any of these books? On the shelf about magic, have anything maybe with like paladin spells or anything that would work well for paladins on it? Okay. <clears throat> this is the place you train for level six! <coughs> <laughs> My god. Oh, My god. Oh, I, My see. God. I see. It comes together. Any. Handy little spells that I may not have in my repertoire that I can Wow, so good. much shit you're gonna do when you get level six! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to get a healing spell. Get healing uh, word there. I need Mikhail. a heal. <laughs> Mikael. <Holy> fireball. Even <laughs> though I can't. Holy fireball. Holy Batman. fireball. I'm gonna go take a shower. Uh, yeah. I imagine. I imagine the captain's orders are not for me to follow you in there, so I'm going to the bedroom to I find a hope, trunk. I would hope not. My god. Hmm. Shit, shower, shave. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna come over here and uh, strip oh. down to list skivvies. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh, get ready. oh. Go take a shower. <laughs> 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 Baron's audible nice. eyebrow raise. Uh, I never nice. had my. I never had. You want to. You want to not take Charles notice. with you? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking. <laughs> no, Charles no, with. take him with you. Nice How tattoos, Gideon. Gets... Very tasteful. Are, are you rolling? Um, <laughs> it, the the, the size is a little off. Hold on, let me. Let me He's gigantic. Bring it down a little bit. Those <laughs> massive oh, no, no. pecs. He's got to roll for it. <laughs> I said into my skivvy, so I'm. I'm in my underwear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> that art does oh, not leave a whole lot to the imagination, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just, hmm. he, took, he took off his armor and got larger somehow. I don't know. Yeah. You, you, can, I was just holding him back. His power. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> containing his power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why the beds are so big. That's just, it's off. Like, I tried, to, I tried to address the... I tried to adjust the Arcadum. Grid, but... Arcadum, this bed is the perfect size. Right? It is. <laughs> Small characters get, like, king size bed. It's it's great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I can't I, fall I, off. I've never been in a, big, a bed this big. Wow. I am. <laughs> Simply... Wow, I feel like a child again. Hey. Wow, I feel like I'm El Nino again. El Nino. <laughs> I'm storing my gear but, and uh, preparing but, to make... New temporary art. Poquito niño. Poquito niño. Poquito niño. Poquito niño. Ah. Oh, que no Orcus es lindo. Such, a, <laughs> such an aggressive language. A flaca niño. Also, since he's putting all his stuff away, both hey, of y'all, did you, you guys know that already, Raymaker understood he's a chicken that? Boy. Because he also speaks Spanish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Waymaker knows movies. like 1,800,000 languages. Crazy. Eighteen hundred thousand and one. Man, what was that? 
I said since he's taking off all of his Metheria stuff, not that he's ever been hiding it, but it's just more noticeable without his cloak. And he's got wings. He's a little wing boy. Huh. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess who doesn't notice that? Thorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, I already, I already pulled out those wings and tried oh. to cut them off before. Oh. Yeah. He you saved his wings that time. before we got to the apostates, you tried to... Oh, yeah! <laughs> you did try did to we... violently cut off his wings. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we get along now. I understand that they're not, uh, gross from the druid's magic. And, uh, Mythos. Yes, Miss Thorne? Well, I'll wait for you to be done, but I wanted to ask, because I, I support and I enjoy your ambition to become Metheria's darling. And if I may, I would love to braid up your hair in a protective hairstyle for the travels ahead. But I, I did want to understand a bit more on why you chose this path. Because this is the proper path to help protect Corvanus itself. Even if others believe that going against Metheria's light will somehow be helpful, they are the ones that are wrong. People just uh, misunderstand Metheria due to the actions of the church itself. Oh no, I'm not questioning your Metherian nature. It's more so of the, um, wanting to be your boyfriend. I might need help bridging this gap. I mean, wasn't... What? What? Isn't that an aspiration From the shower. most men what? of the church? <laughs> um, no. Is Metheria not the most perfect of females? Would not any man in his right mind aspire to be with her if they could? What I understand are you talking the attraction. about over there? What? Uh, uh, Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Uh, nothing, Jenny. She is the bestest girl. Turns away and <laughs> blushes. <laughs> he is completely it, unfazed by this question. It, it's just girl talk, Jenny. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not a woman, Miss Thorn. Well, I, I, to... I have Kanka! <laughs> I, I need to stab Kanga. something. But, Comes to trunk. Takes spear. Oh that doesn't change the nature of the conversation, you see. I'm going to stab something. Oh no, I've upset her again. Um, hey, uh, what did we way. find change of clothes? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was... <laughs> I believe, Mikhail, that we must wait for Inquisitor Cast to bring us other clothing. Being with our Metherian accoutrements here is not going to be seen as a problem. What the fuck is Gideon going to get into when he comes back from the shower? Mr. Gideon, the clothing I'm going out off. to the yard. <laughs> Did she go into the shower with... Oh no, poor Gideon. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry, Cape. You stepped out of the shower curtain. It's time to roll. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, wait. Yes. Oh, 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 my God. 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 Uh, okay, do you need company? I, I... Company? Hey, yo! <laughs> hey, yo. We're building a ship. I, okay, ta, I guess not. Ta, ta. Goes back in. Alright, put little G away and get back in there. Hiya. 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 When he came back, let me see it. What has he got? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, let's see. What, I mean, your chance. Let's see where his rating is, at least. <laughs> but. Hiya! <laughs> 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 that heavy silence. 
Go ahead, continue. Aya! <laughs> well, y you being a boy doesn't change the nature of the conversation and talking about love and affections. That That's solidly girl talk things. But why? Men are allowed to be amorous towards things as well and discuss those things. I, I think the nature of their conversations tend to be different. Hmm. I'm sorry, are you woman-splaining right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, no, Thorn is, Thorn is a whole lot. Well, to be honest, I haven't really involved with many people throughout my life. These are just things I've picked up from studies and whatnot, so if that is truly a thing for just women, I guess hmm, it's interesting to note. Oh no. I think it's great that you participate in it when, you know, you can cross the bounds. It's just there's differences. Oh, hello, Mikael. Um, I, are you able to explain, like, why girl talk is the way it is? <laughs> You're muted. Unmute. Son of a bitch. All right, hold on. Let's, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, right, let's, let's run that back. Let me pull back up. God, the comedic timing's so bad uh, now. Mikael, can you help me here? I I, I don't have the words to... Us? Oh, no, I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about I'm talking about like woman talk and talking about like the girls and guys that you like. What? Like that's that's a thing, right? Okay. Okay? No entiende. Oh. I don't understand what he's saying. I I think he's talking green skin. He was like this when talking with the Gremlin thing before. His name was Green Jack. You know, we don't have to name our pet apostates, right? You didn't kill him. He's the only- uh, you're one of your reasons he's alive. I'm sorry, I was dying. That sounds like your problem. Oh my god. We will- <clears throat> What? Yes, oh my goddess. There you go. We will- we will go for- you know, punch in the arm, it's like, oh my god. Just friendly, yeah, so like, hit me. Shout, roll yeah. attack. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so am I gonna... to understand that you all keep pet apostates? I, no. I'm also trying to understand what this is about. That's a thorn thing, not me. I don't know where no. she got that. No, not the end. Green Jack was. I wasn't the one talking with you. <laughs> you get back. Yeah. Here. Don't, oh. don't you walk. Hey, hey, hey Jack, uh, Hmm. Uh, thanks. Hey, Mythos. Could I ask you a favor? <laughs> Bro, my man is just walking up, <laughs> soaked, fucking glistening. Alright, alright. Can't so, see it. You, can't, you, you can't see it, but you can smell that. He smells oh. fresh. I'm talking lemony biscuits. Good. Oh. Nice. He's got that, he's got that, uh, what is it, that, that Old Spice shampoo Old Spice. smell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah dude. Mm -hmm. When you get out of the fucking shower, it's a one time we match you, ladies. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, what is it, Mr. Gideon? Uh, mm. could you check the bed blanket for magic, please? Oh, God. I've got you, Gideon. What Gideon? bed? <laughs> what do you want me to check? I guess that would be something to look for to make sure there's Which no bed, magic Gideon? in the place. Sure, lead oh. the way. Brother, call on me. I'm here. Which bed? He's more arcane trained than you are. Well, I right. killed your bed the last time it attacked you. I untied you. I... <laughs> Tell me your bed, warrior. Wait, is that what was happening last time y'all were rolling around in the bed or whatever was happening? In the... I, uh, he got man. attacked by a bed back at the church. For some he reason. Didn't know what happened. There is an assassin mage out to get me. He keeps cursing my blankets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna arcana check each of these beds, and since we're gonna be sleeping soon, I'm gonna use my thing. I'm just gonna, oh, man, I love my brothers. I'm arcana okay. check all, all these right. beds. All right, your arcana check reveals to you that Gideon is a fucking crazy person. <laughs> mm, I'm very Am I crazy when it happens twice? Gideon may no. or may not be 
<laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Very he might be schizophrenic. He might be hmm. mentally unstable. Hmm. Goddess, I love my brothers. But God damn, is my man cut. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, I have to get the one of Mika Elmi because hmm. my dude is huge. Well, I can confidently say that none of these beds are inherently magic, aside from the one that Charles is laying in, but I think that's just due to the ambient exposure from our last encounter. Yeah, I, I'm, I'd still feel the burden after that one. But, uh, well, yeah, thank you for you checking. should be fine. It's no problem Appreciate at all. it. I will untie you and attack your bed to save you again if needed. Let's not destroy the beds this time. Mm. Mm. Quick, check under his bed, Mikael. For our QQ. You check under your bed, Gideon. Better not. There I did not, be, but that's a good idea. Might be a, an assassin under here. <laughs> Mika, I will check the bed. Mm, no chupacabras here. <laughs> no chupacabras here. Mythos will go around and check each of these beds. No well. banditos either. <laughs> Awkwardly step beside <laughs> each of them and oh. inspect it. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> what is Mika? Mr. Gideon wanted me bed. to inspect the beds to make sure there was no errant magics in them, so. Yes, and uh, what have you found? Uh, it looks like they're all normal. Brilliant. <laughs> I mean, it seems to be some things he's been struggling with, so I wanted to at least give him some peace of mind. Very thoughtful of you. Mm -hmm. I'm off to deliver some correspondence to Inquisitor Cast, and then perhaps freshen up. Oh, I'll once... work on the shower first, then. It was down the hallway, right? Mm, down the hall to your left, and then a right. Shall I show you the way? Yes, please. I'll be me. heading out to the training mm -hmm. grounds once I'm finished, if y'all need to find me. Oh, Please. good. Please keep an eye on Jenny. Hiya! 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 Softly in the yeah. background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better work no. out that sexual frustration. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ar Arcadum, um, yeah. what does Mikael find underneath the bed? Oh, mi amigo is el cuckoo. Q, what, what is what is that? LQQ? Q? What, what did he say? C. What, what is C U C U Y? Kukui? 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 Yeah. Kukui. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what it is! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> you find nothing! Nothing at all! <laughs> Ah, Amiko will try. To... I'm being punished. Uh, Amiko <laughs> tries to pull his head out from underneath the uh, the bed, but he forgot he has his halo. Uh, Mik uh, Arcana, what are the like the bed frame bottoms made out of? Are they made of wood? Yeah, they're made of wood. So, uh, so what Gideon will start to hear uh, will be Mikael struggling to take his head from the underneath the bed, and it will sound like deer fighting. Underneath the bed. Uh. uh. Mikael, are, are you okay? I'm going to break these off and throw them into the ocean. Oh, my. Uno, uno uh, momento, por favor. And I will he will lift up the his bed. Neck you, did, you didn't have to do that. I had this. Wait, did Thank you get you. your horn stuck in the bed frame? <laughs> yes. <laughs> my halo <laughs> stuck. Um, your horn low. His horn low. My horn. Yeah, my. It's horn low. Oi, no. Hey, el horn low. El horn low. Hey, Dimmy, they call me El Horn Low. Yes, I. I'm not used to my halo yet. Okay, well, good. Good night. I'm not going to bed yet. I'm waiting for. Are we getting the change of clothes tonight? And are you sleeping in your boxes? Y yes. And are we getting the change of clothes tonight? Because I'll go shower. If we're not getting it tonight, then just sleep in the jiffies. I was thinking we we're going to wait the night and we were going to get some sort of pyjamas and then going to sleep in. 
I I I don't know. I I just put on my spare underwear. I do carry spare. My Wait. Well, I always told me. <laughs> Wait, what is, is... I too carry spare. <laughs> I do carry spare. Me, well, it always told me. You never know when you're going to shit yourself. What is? Uh, always carry too. Wait, is is pajamas a Spanish word? Uh, listen, I always heard my weather call it pyjamas. Yeah, so we call it pyjama. Uh, yeah. In Portuguese, it's 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 a word. Whoa. Is the, uh, now I have to know, what is the origin of pajamas? I think it's a French word. Fucking French. It might actually be Persian. Uh, <laughs> Persian. Yes, indeed, oh. it's Urdu. Oh, okay. It's leg clothing. Pay oh. yama. At least that's what Google says. Nice one. Our I love languages. Farron so and, cool. and Thorn are showering? Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's how you say it in Spanish. Pijama. P i j a m a. I left yeah. a letter or two on what I presumed to be a uh, cast desk. Okay. Meanwhile, um. outside. Hi ya. Hi ya. Hi ya. Hi ya. Yeah. And then over here, Mythos. <laughs> All right, he's he's AFK, so you guys can. Oh, you're doing that thing again. You're doing that thing. He used to stab people with Telri. I have a spear, a spear token. Yeah, yeah. Got the spear token once again. Oh, you guys want to do some some battle, some training RP here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good. Uh, I will just, you know, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to shoot myself, so I'm okay if I just, you know, get down to the one. So, I guess I will strip and go into the showers. Okay, have a good shower. He'll just uh, lay his stuff on the edge of this and go. Now, is it just one shower, Arcadum? Yes. Or are there separate it's communal. Towers? All right. Well, well, we're we're gonna get to that in a second because that's gonna be a cavalcade of cartoon comedy right there. <laughs> but meanwhile, out in the out in the training ground, hmm. Jenny will wipe her brow and set her spear on the dummy. Mythos will take a break and would look towards her and just give a slight bow and just ask, "Excuse me, Miss mm. Genevieve. Hmm. Indeed. Uh, would you be willing to spar with me for a bit?" Uh, hand to hand. Whatever you prefer. I'm you pretty seem resilient. To, you seem to have a bit of a preference there. Yes, that is my preferred way. But I wouldn't mind if you wanted to still use your weapon. Hmm. Very well. And she will pick up her spear, but she will also pull out a small sheath and put it over the tip. He will bow. Hmm. And then dun 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 <laughs> Mortal Kombat! Let me go to my inventory and uh, unequip my armor and shield because I am not currently wearing them. Correct. I'm okay. also not wearing armor. Because it had Metharia stuff on it, so I put it away! <laughs> so, how are we doing this? Mm. I imagine we will stop blows before they actually hit. We don't want to waste ourselves. That is what you prefer. Heaven or hell. Let's rock! <laughs> yeah. Alright. And let us go. Alright, let me see some rolls. Let's get some battle music in here. Let's go. Let me see. What a heavy day. Alright, fine. If that's what you want. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I there want them no to beat each other up. In your There's... Scene. You cannot roll in the <laughs> Fine. We'll just roll a d20. It's fine. Hey. Oh. Ah, good. All they right. are meant for each other. All right. Maybe I love. Take them. a quick stance and we'll. Is it behind her? Whoa! And he sidestepped. Go with, go with the soft punchies, and then that'll hit. hit but cut short. It's not actually going to do damage. But anyway. Sure, right. And that'll hit as well. 
I will now generate the two focus. And then... I will... What all the things I can do? You know what? Just because I've never got to do it, I'll bet spend both of my focus I just generated for penetrating light and rebellious blows. Ooh, oh, nice. all oh, right, a mighty strike! Oh, snap. Again, he pulls back at the last second, and then that one miss. I don't know what your base dex is. I don't know if you're a dexy girl. I have an 11, so that would also hit. So all those, and then also two wisdom saves. Actually, what is it? I've never used this before. Wisdom saves. Hmm. 15 plus 16. No, wait, that's the wrong one. I posted the wrong one. Which one? This one. That one. Hmm. So. Constitution save, but it's based on my whiz. Okay, hold on. Ah. So, 8 plus 0 plus 3, so 11. Okay. Yep, I failed. I am also blinded. <laughs> oh, no. So he will, Mythos will quickly dash behind you, and as you turn, and he throws a quick flurry of blows, cutting short, one in his left uh. palm as he goes to strike, a flash of Metharian light will appear in your face, and he will pull back again. Um, All right. That would be, I, I feel those blues coming in. They would have definitely dropped me to half. But we'll go with one good stabby stab. Oh. That's it. She bursts with radiant light. I would lose a focus. Oh. Pow! Pow. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Hadouken! Hadouken! Shoryuken! Right. I'm not going to expend additional things. Uh, then, on the next turn... Hit it with magic! Fuck him up! We will do now this. I'm back to Zip 8 again. Around, and then he will create a Sunblade with one key. But, in... He's going to attack with it, but instead of dealing damage, it's actually going to feel good, because it's going to be the healing variant of it, using his healing heart. <laughs> so That hits. There you go. You get, not that you've taken damage, but you feel Matheria's light wash over you, and you feel more invigorated. Hmm. Very and impressive. Short sword of light cleaves through you, not leaving any visible injuries. No. One, and that's it. <laughs> Very impressive. And Ginny will uh, step back and bow. He will return the bow. Now kick him in the shin. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive. Your hand-to-hand um, -hand combat is quite something. Thank you. I haven't really had a chance to get in the thick of it with it with this group, but I'm trying my best to be more useful for them in combat. How do you tend to go about combat? Well, due to the nature of our group, a lot of them are very forward fighters. So previously I was staying more to the back so that I could cover our rear in case of anyone flanking. So he'll gesture over to pile a weapon somewhere to like a heavy crossbow. So typically I would use one of those to just keep range suppression on it, the enemies until it was needed for me to come closer. But Jenny that has will been proving quite useful lately. Blankly stare here. at you. And, and with Miss Farron here, that's no longer really needed. So... I was about to say, I've, I've seen your companions. They are... um. A bunch of meatheads, if I, if you don't mind me saying so. 
I don't imagine that they get flanked or blindsided from behind most of the time. Why are you not just simply in the fray doing exactly what you just did? Well, that is the plan. It's just I've not had an opportunity to do so. I didn't want to risk anything stopping us from behind if that was the case. Also, in our first encounter together, due to mm, Mr. Mikael's overzealousness, I had to go deal with a different problem when he indulged too much in Matheria's gift and caused an alert to go out to the druids of the grove. I had to go stop the druid circle from activating and actually potentially leading to enemies coming from our flank. So you sound seem to have a good head on your shoulders. Thank you. I have studied well, a lot and I've done my best for the church, which is why I was able to rise to this position at such a young age. But I haven't had too much practical practice out on real missions. My first I've had a couple training excursions and such before, but my first actual assignment was with this group when we went to the Druid Grove, so. Hmm. Well, it's good to see that at least one of us won't be completely inept as we walk through town weaponless and hiding our true identities. That'll be good. How are your social skills? They're not terrible, but, I mean, I tend to... Let That's show enough for me. Talk, talking. <laughs> but I'm not incapable of carrying a conversation, much like we're having now. No, you seem to be um, quite understanding. Thank you. I appreciate the spar. Uh, I did need to work off some of that tension. You know some of these people are idiots. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, well... Mr. Mikael, I'd probably say that's true, but Mr. Gideon at least seems to have his heart in the right place. He's just a little vacant, I'd say. And Miss Thorne has her own tr struggles to deal with. So. Well, as much as Mikael and Gideon seem to argue, it's hard to know which would be the worst exactly in this particular verse, but a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest to be had. Maybe they will learn to temper themselves over time. Maybe this particular mission will give them the opportunity to gather and learn a level head. Well, in some fairness, Mikael has been at least somewhat tempered in his overzealousness recently. I don't has know he? If it's... From it's... earlier reports that I read, he seems to be some kind of hothead. That is still true, but not as hot-headed and quick with indulging in the magics of Metheria as he was when I first met him. He's at least drawn it back a slight bit. So I can see that there's some effort being made there. Hmm. Well, we all grow. We all have our shortcomings, but Metheria's light brings us to our fullest potential. Yes, and Metheria's light is what brings us all together. Well, good talk. Appreciate it. I suppose, um, are you one of the ones that are assigned, that I'm assigned to be hanging with? Meanwhile, I don't believe so. I don't. I honestly, okay, if I'm being ahead. honest, I thought that they would have split up the women and the men. I don't know why I was grouped with Miss Thorne and Miss Who's Baron there? specifically, but. Uh, and, 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 all right, hold on, hold on. All right, so yeah, as, yeah, yeah. As, as the two of you kind of start talking about that. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the bathroom. Oh, uh, oh, just a moment. Hmm? Well, uh, I must say I w I'm not the best at uh, healing, you know. I'm, I'm more of a poisons person myself, but um, I, will, I will definitely check for you if, if you need. What are you guys talking about? If you could about? describe it. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's, it's all good, Mikhail. Oh, give me a moment. I need to cover up. Oh, I'm wrapping up anyway. 
Um, oh, okay. But no, as Mikhail can tell you, I'm. I can tend to wounds, but I need your eyes to tell me what you see. Mm. Yes, of course. Excuse me? And she <laughs> hustles out. <laughs> You're hustling while the DM is away. <laughs> I know. Covers up with the towel. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm down to roll and all that and see. But <laughs> Thorn is <laughs> but like she can't away. find it. But she's running away. But yeah. <laughs> oh, let's let's let Gideon. Hello, Varen. Hello. <laughs> Wait, did you say Varen? Did you start praying? Uh, no, I said Varen. Uh, yeah, imagine us walking here and start praying to Varen. Oh my god. Uh, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna have that kind of scene. <laughs> what do you mean? The shower is the perfect place to kill someone. I don't need the, you know, six foot five, two sixty five, two incher Mikael fighting naked against Varen. Uh, Farin. 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 It's it's close. It's Sorry very for close. <laughs> No, no, no. Arcadum says Varun or whatever his whatever the deity is, and I'm like, not me, not me. But I have the same <laughs> trouble in in Twilight because it's Essie versus Effie, and I'm like. Mm-hmm. And Not then there's me. Elsie in Bound and Broken. Oh yep. gosh, that too. <laughs> every time, no, no, no offense, Silver. I, I love your character, but every time someone says your name, I'm like, who? <laughs> me? <laughs> Elsie. Elsie, you mean oh. Essie? Oh no, wait, you mean Elsie? I got it. <laughs> but no, I mean, I guess if we have a moment, and we'll <laughs> wait, We're right about up here. Datum. I mean, I can show you before he gets back. You know? <laughs> yes. yes. I worked up a sweat. <laughs> Aww. Mm-hmm. So these are dividers in the showers, or that's just the top of the shower? It's just one big oh. shower. Just so you all know, I used all the hot water. Yeah, 100%. Well, wow, what fine. a wuss. Gideon is the good princess. I was born in winter, and I don't care. <laughs> Who goes the there? Cold never bothered her anyway. Mm. Oh, it's okay. me. Pardon me. Jenny will set lady. her spear against this wall and undress. Mm-hmm. Wraps splish splash. Taking a bath. Uh, t- hello, Guinea. Mm-hmm. Did you just call me Guinea? Let me go get my spear. That's real gonna quick. get you a stabbing. Uh, <laughs> go get him, girl. She picks up her spear oh, and walks back into the shower oh, and leans it against this wall. Stick it in his butt. Very <laughs> smart. Oh. Like, Are you crazy, woman? I'm twice your size. Farron's Thorn. smile grows wider. Thorn leans Faith over to Farron. This is why Faith I adore in her. Size, muscle, and brawn will not carry you against me. Keep your spirit to yourself. I don't I don't want this to get messy. I just want to shower and go back to bed. You started it. Is your name green skin. Skin. It can't get messy. You don't bleed. Oh, My no. family can call me Ginny if they wish. I am Genevieve or Shield Lantern Bridge to you. Okay. Ooh, I heard that on my way back over here. <laughs> He'll whisper to himself. Shower, 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 shower. Come on, Mia. Gotten spicy in the showers while you've been gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she brought her spear into the shower. Oh my god. Yeah, he called me Guinea. <laughs> oh, Alright. Is her spear longer, though? What? Yes. <laughs> uh, Mikael will stop showering and dry off and look at her and okay we'll grab first of him. all he has a micro penis leave him alone <laughs> right. poor guy <laughs> oh the muscle was to compensate oh my god <laughs> don't speak of his shame <laughs> speak of and his I am, shame I am down for all sorts of roles here I don't know 
I don't know about the other ladies, but let's go. Welcome back, Arcadum. I don't need to roll. Why? Why? What do you mean? Oh no. Genevieve <laughs> oh, yes. is a is is dual cupcakes and nothing else. <laughs> Coward. Oh, wait. Comes back. Glances are you, are you meaningfully. Me, are you, is this? You want me to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Grab spear. What's her cup now size, Arcadum? You too, Essie. <laughs> Dressing up. I'm good. I've got the art to show what fair oh, is. Okay. She busty. Okay. All right. For five one, yeah, kind of. So you want yours? Yes, Lord? please. Oh, fucking god damn it. <laughs> uh, go back to my saved fucking searches. Double Fs. Do this Let's fucking go. shit again. Can you all imagine? Because I wear I'm super walk in there, binders. <laughs> You, you bulked up so much doing all that training that your pecs just kind of, you know. Hell yeah. Help well, we'll see. Simplify your natural graces. Blessed. Mm. Blessed be. All right. She so... can flex them to the beat. Oh, now as we're waiting on Arcadum, she'll, uh, <laughs> for the first time in months now, open up her eyes and feel a look and tell me what you see. Uh... Mm-hmm. So I have to look into your eyes? Is that where it is? Yes. Uh, you see grayed out eyes with cracked pupils. Hmm. Does she have like any history checks on any is of there, that? Or? Is there anything I should roll for that? Or? Nope. You don't know none of that oh. shit. <laughs> Very good. Looking, the looking person that eyes? knows history and magic is not uh. trying to chill with the girls in the shower. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> cup size. She what? asked me to. She wanted to see if there was anything. Yeah. If you can uh, just keep and uh, because uh, Captain used to keep an eye on if anything was changing since they're they're rather aberrant. Hmm. Well, not having anything to compare them to. What did they mm -hmm. look like before? I suppose, or or. What did your captain last say they looked like? Uh, the right one's a stony gray blue, and the left one is a bit faded with the uh, cracking on the pupil. Well, uh, they do both look rather gray and cracked, I suppose, yes. I, oh. I don't think anything has changed from that previous description. Okay. Thank you. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Of course. <laughs> you found your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you <laughs> Very I'll impressive. Very astute, Mr. Gideon. Wait, you're not That's Mr. Me. Gideon. That's you're me, Mikael. Kyle, Jenny. Yes, yes. I'm getting to learn your names. Mm -hmm. I'm the only orc. Ah, yes, of course, Genevieve. Why are we no. looking at her eyes? She's blind. There's something. Can you see now, Thorn? No. no. How, how fucking tall are you? I'm uh, six five four. eight. Oh. oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Who cares about you? Not you. Man. You don't have boobs. <laughs> that you know of. Roll for your boobs. <laughs> Do it. Make, you don't. Make our you don't. He ain't got that much of a dick. Maybe he does I'm, have I'm sorry to say, Mikael. I did your art. I know what you look like under there. The, it's just like. It's like a concave chest, you know, like a solarian from Mass Effect. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 fucking. I joke. It, all right, you got D cups. All right, get them out of my face. Oh, nice. No. And we will cover up. Mikael coming into the shower and now knowing that information will close his eyes. That's just too much. Yeah. Does he run into the door? Here, let me uh, get run. that for you. That's, you know... You know, I I feel like a funny nickname people gave you as a kid was Gigantic Guinea. <laughs> yeah. No, that was... You really shouldn't be calling her that if you want to live. He uh, will walk off. This is going to be <laughs> most Jeffy's... entertaining. Captain, can I be reassigned? Buddy system? <laughs> <laughs> I would like a new buddy, please. Can I have Mythos instead? Can I? Can we swap? Uh, oh, you're going to take Mythos from me. 
I suppose if we're reevaluating, um, give it one more day. I want to see if it works. And Fine. Keith, that new girl is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> These halls are echoey, Mr. Grace. <laughs> Stops by to get a cup of tea. Follows it's along the wall. A cup is of it tea. night yet? Is that is oh. that what we're doing? Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, how can I help you? Yes, do you have any tea? Well, uh, yes. Uh, could I not interest you in an ice cold milk, perhaps? I, no? I must say, milk is not really my beverage of choice. Um, oh. I see. And you'll go and start making you tea. Wait, why is there blood on the floor? I wounded him yeah. with my words. Oh. Yeah. He <laughs> took <laughs> emotion. <laughs> it says moon milk. blood, Gideon. And I was about to say, don't kill Mr. Milk. Please, um, although it pains me to say no cream in the tea, I, I take it black with maybe a little sugar. That's what causes the injury. You said no milk, and he bled. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the slow stare. <laughs> well, all right, then. He'll pour that out, and then he'll start over again. <laughs> there you go. Metheria Grey Tea at your service. Very much obliged. You are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I don't like these new ones, Master. Fear not. He broke his calcium heart. Soon they will drink the calcium. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, something smells lovely. Ah, Just a dark yes. milk deity? Cup of tea, of course, before... Settling down for sleep. Did you want one too? No, it keeps me up. Understood. Good night, Gideon. Good night, Mikael. Good night, Mythos. Good night, Good Thorn. Night. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, Theron. Good night, Jim Bob. Mm -hmm. Good night, oh my Mary. gosh, go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, Arcadum. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, hold on. Wait, where are you going to... You're going to tuck us in and kiss us goodnight again or what? <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Uh, Don't do that. He's going to walk pow. behind my house again. Pow! <laughs> pow! 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 No, no! Good. Now, uh, it's time to lay down your heads and go the fuck to sleep. Please, please, dear God, go the fuck to sleep. Thank you, Sama L. Jackson. <laughs> Peaceful RP time. I really do like this music. All righty. Dun, dun. Uh, Mikael's going to sleep tonight. Oh, never mind. Thus <laughs> slowly, as well, well. Did you want to do something? You can. No, I was just gonna say before going to bed, Mikael just has thoughts of getting worried about running into the man in black. Mm. Mm -hmm. And thus the morning hits, and everyone awakens. Good morning, Jenny. Hmm. Good morning. Hmm. Where are we off to today, Captain? Mm hmm. I suppose we'll leave that up to Inquisitor Cast. See if he's ready to begin our training, and if not, uh... what role is it to ch tuck my bed in? Mormons. You, you don't have to roll. <laughs> no, 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 no. Roll. Oh wait, thank you for, for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. Roll. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Just remember what Ariel taught me: fold the quarter, tuck in tight. Fold the quarter, tuck in tight. Think I was watching. They make sure nothing happens to him. Okay. <laughs> Since we're all in the same room, you'll notice that Farron sleeps sitting up just on top of the covers. Hmm. Fucking elf. Oh god! Hot. <laughs> <laughs> we hear the heavy thump 
as Mikhail falls to the ground. Oh my god. You do something to my bed, Gideon? Is you want laugh for other people? Huh? What? Fuck you. And he stands up and we'll try to make the bed again. Okay, yeah, much better. You know you're still enlarged, Gideon? It's like, dude, that's me sitting. <laughs> I'm sorry you're not as swole as me, Mikael. That's not Get even it. true. I'm taller than you. Who has the most strength, though? I'm, uh, I'm taller I, than a lot of people. I, uh, I think that's... I think that's me, actually. I have 20. <laughs> I mean, if you spent more time playing Mario, you'd have the mushrooms to be this big. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I feel like Denny's token is far too large. Oh, yes, sorry. Let me hang on. That's. Uh. <laughs> She's, there. She's, oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. <laughs> I love her. Tiny. Eep. Eep. Alrighty. And with this, everyone is called into the common room, into the conference room, or exposition, exposition chamber. Oh. Let's say, what's a conference room? And then, yeah. <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. We leave our green trails everywhere. Mm hmm. Our green will blot out the sun. Yes. Yes. Green. We will do a wah. The green tide rules. Nikael. Might I suggest you get out of Inquisitor Cast's chair before he gets here? <laughs> oh no, uh, this will be hilarious. Okay, my bad. No need to be disrespectful to our host. I didn't know it was his fucking chat. I didn't see his name on it. My bad, Jesus. I mean, by Yes. Are you sure I'm the blind one? Uh, Alright. The door will open. And a very tired-looking Inquisitor cast will enter. He'll move quickly and be seated. Good morning, each of you. We have much to Good go morning. over. First, I will start with you, um, Charles Emberkeep. I have a message from Inquisitor Trent. You are to be reassigned. They require your assistance back in the Pale City. Something to do with your family has come up. Charles will look very concerned and, and then will nod. Do I have time to... I'm afraid you must begin packing immediately. Uh, yes, sir. Best tidings. You will be missed. And good luck. And stay well, safe, Charles. Mr. Charles. Goodbye, Let's everyone. Stay in light. Be Goodbye. careful out there. Mm-hmm. Seems any name, any surname with Amber in it is cursed lately. What? Yeah, he has such a long neck. What do you mean, Jenny? Never mind. Later. The Not my news. The Inquisitor will nod and then will stay. Well said. I have just returned. Well, not just returned. But the funeral, the funeral uh, procession of Abigail Emberkeep was Ember Vale. Whatever it is. Miss Bella. Amber Song. Yes. Yes, they are close family friends. Wh what happened? I do not Why is she dead? I do not know the details, only that she has perished. Her funeral was... Well, it was quite the occasion. Explain. We do not have time to go over the... Deaths of others. Oh, fuck, tell we, okay. we have tasks at hand that must be done. First, a meeting. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to, as he points over his shoulder, kind of gesturing, 
our contact in the Dark Lake. And you will see this man enter. Hmm. Hmm. And the man will step forward. Uh, greetings, salutations. Sir Banco Lemune, at your service. I am here to serve Netheria in whatever way that I can. My family has always been adherent to the Lady of Light, and I am happy to provide what we might. The Inquisitor will nod and will say, Sir Lemune has allowed us to take up refuge in his home within the Dark Lake. You will be posing as servants. Your mission is simple. Integrate with the populace. Learn their secrets. Learn who amongst them have given themselves over to this cult, this heresy, in whatever form it has taken. I have received additional orders, and I am to give them to you at this time. Whilst you are within Dark Lake, you are to study the people. Should you find any apostasy, you are to report it to me, and I shall report it up the chain. If such apostasy requires immediate response, preparations will be made by others. It is important that you do not involve yourselves in any way that would reveal that you are more than you seem to be. This mission can only be successful if you maintain your subtlety. However, we've also received scouts' reports that there are risen in the city. Undead abominations risen by the perversion of the sacred bell. No doubt these entities will be able to suss out any of you that bear a holy presence. Keep that in mind. They are bloodhounds, quite literally in some regards, to seek you out. It is best that you keep combat and skirmishes to a minimum, and if you must do so, as secret as possible. We cannot allow ourselves to be discovered before we are ready to strike. I cannot stress that enough. If we play our hand too early, we will accomplish nothing, and they will simply move the bell elsewhere. Now, it is not all grim and warning. So Lemune has made sure that your presence will be covered. And indeed, there are plenty of the Betharian pious amongst the council and amongst the people of the city. Seek them out, learn of them, keep them safe if you can. We have been given a total of three months to complete this task. It is unlikely that the bell will remain here any longer, the end of that three months being after the winter solstice. As such, it is imperative that we act swiftly and carefully. Fear not, there is still yet some time to prepare. Sir Lemune is not due to be back for some week's time. We will use this time to train you in the ways of etiquette, so that you can pass as servants of the appropriate um, high quality that one of his nobility can afford. Sir Panko will give a nod. I'm sure you'll all do fine, but it is imperative, if I may, Inquisitor, the Inquisitor will he concede the floor, it is imperative that you are able to pass yourselves off as the highest quality of servants. I will have many friends in Dark Lake that will be looking eagerly to see what I have procured from my journey. I intend to speak very highly of your escapades of service. It is my hope that perhaps some of them will take such a liking to you as we may yet trade services. Some of my dear friends, I believe, have in fact gone over to the other side, as it were. A prime an ample opportunity to suss out heresy at the highest level within Dark Lake. In addition, in order to continue uh, to show my continued support and faith in Metheria, I have taken quite a bit of the profits that I have made on the journey, and I have agreed to help supply you. 
My merchant's caravans have yet to leave and pass by uh, this chapel, and when they do so, I shall have the funds prepared for you to make what selections that you wish to ensure that you are properly prepared, supplied, and geared. In addition to that, I have also taken the liberty, by the Inquisition's request, to hire on a few auxiliary trainers, mercenaries, to provide their skills in order to prepare you for what is to come. The Inquisitor will then start to speak again. I cannot stress the importance of this mission. We have but only one chance, and we must do so carefully, in which we can retrieve the sacred bell, and if possible, capture or kill the offspring of the Barrel King. However, we are outnumbered and outmatched here. The Barrel King is close, far closer than the Pale City. You must be swift. You must be ruthless. You must be efficient. Incompetency will see this abbey raised to the ground and all of our heads put onto spikes as warning to the rest of the Pale City. He'll then take a long moment to look at each one of you before he says, But fear not. I know that I am uh, grim in my approach, but only because of how serious I am. I can see Metharia's light in each of you. You need not fear the shadows. Amen. Very good. Take your time. Make your requests to Sir Pamko, and he shall see that you are well supplied. You may also make due of the facilities here and the trainers that are to arrive soon. All right. Pulling you out. Get oh. out of character. All right. All right. Okay. Ah. We got stuff to talk about. Yeah. Yes. And that is all the preparations we get to do. So as you may or may not have guessed from me coughing, uh, pointing at it, rubbing your face in it, this particular place will be, uh, excuse me, this chapel will be the place in which you receive your level 6 training, your grand resupply, your re-gear, your reward for all that you've done so far, and to give you the tools that you require in order to take down the cursed progeny of the Barrow King and to retrieve the bell. To be clear, your mission is as follows. Retrieving the bell is the highest priority. If you do not retrieve the bell and it is lost, this campaign is a failure. Do you guys get me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. That that's your fail state yes. for this campaign is losing that bell. The second main objective is the capture or destruction of the Barrow King's cursed progeny. Whilst it is not required for you to capture or kill this individual in order to complete the campaign, it is a huge boon if you do. Everybody with me so far? Yep. Yeah, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next bit is there are several side objectives that should you complete them over the campaign will re result in reward and all sorts of rippling effects. They are as follows. To recover the missing agents, uncover heresy and apostasy, major heresy and apostasy, protect the faithful, and there is a secondary auxiliary request from Serpenko, and that is to receive, uh, retrieve his lost family heirloom that he believes the Risen has stolen from him. His heirloom being a scepter. Okay. Oakley Doakley? Oakley Doakley. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, time to talk rewards. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Okay, let me get all that shit open. Hey! What was the bad? I went to buy it. It's so divine. Hey! 
<laughs> Come and Very get good. your love. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Oh, sorry. Clap, clap. I'm a silly man. So silly. Mm -hmm. Are you getting the secondary conditions, Thorn? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Looks good. Damn it, now that song's stuck in my head. <laughs> it's not a bad song. It's not a bad song, but it's stuck in my head now. Alrighty, guys. Uh, with all of that, I can also introduce you to your new campaign name. Ooh. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yo. New campaign name is The Dark Sermon, Hell's Bells. Hell's Bells. Hell's Bells. Hell's Bells. <laughs> For whom the bells hold. Oh, go very for. good. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And now we got to go over your rewards. The party will be given a stipend of... Nine million gold. <laughs> uh, but you can only silver. spend anointed silver. Nine yeah. million anointed silver. Thank you, please. Yeah. Oh, that's oh a good. Lot. Bring the whole family treasure, I see, Jay. Uh, it's got to be gold, because anointed silver is not going to help us be espionage. Oh, it, family does use? It, it's going to be gold, because you're using a merchant. But Yeah, yeah that's what I say. We're using merchant. We're not city It's not guy. requisition. Yeah. Oh, God. But you are give, going to be given a lot, so. Damn. Yeah. One million. And all of it's going to go to Mikael getting some tier 8 chest plate again. And it's going to be like, mm -hmm. damn, now we're poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, he gets that once. He lost it. <laughs> again. No. Do tell. Again. Oh, that was out of character. Wow. <laughs> What do you mean? Whoa! What do you mean? How how could this happen? Uh, how could this have been predicted? How could this happen to, to me? Why are you still unconscious, by the way, there, Thorn? Oh. <laughs> You've been Look, unconscious I'm... this whole time. But it's only just a dream. All right. The party receives a 12,000 gold stipend. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> uh right click it. There you go. That's, That's a lot, a lot of gold. Dear goddess. Hmm. I would like a uh, Buster Sword, please. And thank I'd you. like to upgrade the Abbey's Forge to Tier 3. No, wait, wrong character. <laughs> I would like Crabopolis to be the Juggernaut. <laughs> Give him but tier no nine slam armor. Down. We yeah, he's use, a coward. He's, he is a coward. That's why we give him Tier 9 armor and just use him as basically just a tank. We stand yep. behind him. But he wouldn't run in. He would run the other way. He would run the other way heavy. very slowly. 
Exactly. It's just a slow moving retreat. In the yeah, and yeah, like in the opposite direction of where we want to go. That's all it's right. It's not gonna go towards the combatants. I look very worried about combat. This is a stealth and reconnaissance mission. Mm -hmm. Looks down at heavy armor. Sure. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm in server The best part of stealth is leaving no witnesses. The best uh. part of waking up is it's soldiers in your cup. <laughs> Mentos, the fresh maker. Brought to you by Milton Bradley. A family company. Uh. What are you going to do about it? I'm gonna say what I always say. It's let, it let, it go. let it go. Oh, oh no. don't let stop. it go. No, let it go. She'll kill People all of you. And I'll People I wanting even, to die. I don't even have a yam to pose to die in. Wait. Wait. I, I, I commission. It, it takes time. I know, but I you can't right. sing that without yeah. it. All right. So you got twelve thousand gold pieces, and you can purchase um, whatever you wish. You can have items made. Uh, those will be delivered when his merchant caravan comes through. And basically at the end of your training bit is when all your supplies get here and you guys go on. So essentially what we're going to be doing is is uh, kind of give everybody a rundown uh, to match up with the upcoming uh, uh, off-screen work I'm going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The prestige classes, all of them should be done by next week. So next week, uh, and I'm going to fucking try my damnedest to make sure that they're done by next week, but um, by next week, um, your party should have access to all of the prestige classes. Uh, we'll be able to go over them in character, and we'll probably spend that session training up and getting everybody, like, role-playing it out and all that good stuff. We'll spend the remainder mm -hmm. of this session setting up your guys' purchases, and the idea is that when we hit the quotations time skip, which isn't going to be that long, but it's the um, it's the method I'm going to use to recalibrate everybody. Um, mm -hmm. That will have already been done here. Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be clear, uh, even though we'll roll out, we'll you know role play through changes and um, you know give you guys all the time to get, let the new characters get integrated and role play with NPCs and all that. It's going to be really role play heavy the next couple of sessions. Even though we were next time we're gonna role play through all the prestige classes, um, your actual character and its final build is not due until we start again after I come back from offline work. Mm. Yeah, everybody okay. get what I mean. So you actually have until then to build your character the way that you want it to. Okay. So Sounds if we RP something and then we don't like it and we want to change, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, 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 that's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm basically saying that um, I'm basically saying that your your uh, what, what, what deadline of your character's build is when we start games up again. So mm -hmm. your your first session, boom, whatever hits the board, that's finalized, and any other changes would have to require active downtime. So, mm -hmm. man, I left that chain mail all the way back there. Mm -hmm. We will go back for that. No, nah, don't worry. The enemies that we have to fight are friends with the hag, and they have all of your stuff. Oh, you're mm -hmm. right. We should have long rested. We all slept. <laughs> yes, everybody's long rested now. All right, so let's go ahead and handle your guys' uh, money. you got 12,000 gold pieces and lots of gear to replace and preparations to make. As a reminder, and I won't be holding your hand through this, your mission is not just combat. There will be some of that. But mm -hmm. your mission is to integrate into the Dark Lake Society and seek out the heretics the way that the Eye does, which is by seeking them out through using subtlety, stealth, um, making relationships with people, that kind of stuff. How much combat you get into is completely up to you for your next campaign. It is, mm -hmm. there's many different ways you can handle this challenge. You can handle it through social, heavy social RP. You can handle it through exploration. You can handle it through combat if you want to brute force it. There's a lot of stuff you can do, all right? And I will tell you that you'll probably have to use a little bit of each, but how much of each you use is also up to you. So I'm basically saying that have a good time. Pick the shit that you want to do that you intend to use. Sweet. 
twelve thousand gold pieces. What do you want? Uh, I would like to buy the bell for twelve thousand gold. <laughs> <laughs> I would like a, I would like a <laughs> bell. Please. You fucking got me. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Bye. Quest over. Everybody, go home. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bye. I just leave. I don't say anything. I just like leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the bell appears in our barracks room tomorrow morning. <laughs> Um. Hmm. I think I'm I'm pretty much set with gear, right? Because I just came fresh. Yeah, but it has Metheria stuff on it. You gotta rebuy it all. Wait, oh so, darn! Like that's what I'm confused about. We're supposed to be uh, sneaky, if not like you know, total super duper soup buys. You know, we're supposed to like not draw attention to ourselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. How does how does that? What if we buy gear? Like, are we mercenaries? What What exactly is our... You, you don't um... have to be wearing it all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's for okay. when we're ready to make a move. Yeah. Oh, so... Or, or, or you could buy kits that would, like, kits of disguise. Like, masterwork mm. ones. You could buy potions of invisibility. You know, there's so much shit you can do with this 12,000 gold. I guess I just worry about, like getting stuck in a situation unprepared like let's say you don't put on your armor for the day because you're going to be doing something that happens. And well, and well, well, life is. well essie that's part of the challenge isn't it i that know is. so I, well. how about this i i think this is the best way for you guys to do this because this group has a lot of opinions mm-hmm. decide how you <laughs> intend to approach this campaign before you make purchases okay that's mm-hmm. the best way to do it remember your mission is to get the belt and your way into the city is to be is to pretend to be this guy's servants. However, he has also informed you that one of the things that makes this plan work is if you are actually good servants. Yeah. So there's that was me kind of subtly hinting of, at a possible path of completion. But it's up to you guys. It's up to whatever you want to do. It, it, the door is completely open. You can choose social, you can choose exploration, you can choose brute force if you want. You have 12,000 gold, which is a hefty sum, to supply yourselves. The Be creative. But you guys should talk to each other first to make sure that everybody's on the same page on how you want to do that. That's my advice. Good. I want to go full solid. Sneak. I used 12,000 gold to Sneaking teleport around. that chain mail in front of me. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> And, um, oh, and one more thing. Remember, okay. properties like concealed exist. Yep. Yep. Which means you can hide armor under normal clothing if it has the concealed property. Indeed. Yeah. Like chain mail. <laughs> can we get a hint what the exploration side of the sneaky quest would be? Because I can see where social and combat fit in, but I'm not sure I see how you could so, explore through it. Sure. So, you're the rogue. What's your stealth? Lots. Okay. I don't So I don't have a number. I don't know. So, Lots. You, you could sneak around and listen in on conversations where nobody think anybody's listening in on. You might find out that somebody knows somebody who's in the cult, so you sneak into that person's house and search their belongings to try and find proof of that. And then you tail that person. And then that person leads you to where that cult is gathering. And then you sneak you know, into that stuff. and then you sneak into that gathering at night and follow the next band of clues. You see what I mean? Oh, okay. So I counted that as, as social because that no, was No, that's like... exploration. Exploration is like non social skill checks getting stuff done. Mm. And social skill checks is social. And then combat is fucking get them. Yes, Thorne, I'm or Reby, I don't know. I'm also worried about getting split up because not all of our characters yeah. are built for um, stealth missions. And so if we get stuck in a different noble house ah with the with the um like well, change of servants that he mentioned. You can't be prepared for everything. Right. Um, I would like to point out that heavy armor wearing Tellery was the one that stole a key in a house heist. From <laughs> my being underneath a piano, the, that's the, true. Well, that's, it that's happens, whole, right? So it's yeah. not it's not so much about being prepared for every little thing, but taking a few items that will make you uh, give you what you think will give you a little bit of an edge in what plan you're looking for. Uh, 
I, I will stipulate that the social aspect, at least on my part, will be very difficult. Uh, That's why you're coming with me, buddy system boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, I see. She quickly gets herself away from Mikael. No, no, he's he's also with me. I gotta keep him. Ah, good. I mean, you guys have a good split of social skills. Like, yes, we really do. Like, I, I don't get where this like like we can't do these things are coming from. Yeah, you're well, not. You're I not be a good servant boy. Yeah, you're not stealthy, but you guys have plenty of social stuff. Like, I think the social social is the best route. Um, I just I have like n no idea what to class or buy. Well, um, class we're going to handle next time. Don't worry about class right now. Okay. Yeah. Because it, whatever class you choose, you're still going to be strength household kill them, most likely. Yeah, so, and I need to talk with Carlos, apparently, about blank things. And yeah, so you can. He's... That's totally something we can do. I, it's just, mm -hmm. like, you guys need a plan, yeah. all right? Because you've been mm -hmm. bailed out quite a bit. That's not going to happen this time. If you fuck this up, mm -hmm. it's fucked. So make your plan. <laughs> but just make the plan. You know, just talk to each other. Either Figure get out down or get do. out. Those are yeah. two options if you yeah. get caught. Understood. Um, uh, if we I don't have a plan, don't retrieve the bell, but destroy it. Is that acceptable? No, it's a holy oh. artifact. But we already so learned we were from the hag that it's corrupted. So, so to be clear, that's a fair question. The campaign's mission is for you to get the bell back so mm. it can be cleansed. If, for whatever reason, you don't think you can and you destroy it, that will still count as a campaign victory, but a pyric one. Okay. So, at, basically, you don't want that to happen unless it really is the only choice. Because if you're wrong and there was another way, then... Yeah. You, re remember, that's a piece of Metharius history. Like... Gone forever yeah, yeah, if you yeah, destroy yeah. it. So, but it's, it's one of those where it, if the situation calls for, it, I would rather destroy the bell than I mean, that's, let the that's enemy a, keep it. That's mm -hmm. a fair point, so, and that's yeah. very Machiavellian of you. But to be clear, that that is <laughs> yeah. still cons game mechanics. That is a campaign victory because the mm -hmm. reason you're getting the bell is so that they can't use it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But that is a pirate one. I would consider that a bad ending, but it's still a progressive one, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Skyla agrees. It's better than some alternatives, and we'll have that at the, at the bottom of the priority or bottom mm. last ditch. Yeah, like, this is, like, we have possession of the bell and surrounded by Risen and we're all about to die. I would smash the bell. So, is, um, yeah. Is anyone opposed to the social the route and learning how to be good servants and integrating? What? Oh, that sounds... Yeah. Social and stealth seem like the ones we need to start with, because if we go in guns blazing, that time frame of far. three months is quickly going to dwindle. Yeah. Yep. I like I like the social and exploration. Um, what if it was roughly based off of this buddy system? Like one team went mm -hmm. social and one team went stealth. Explore. Well, mm -hmm. Here's your stealth team. Cause... I'll just take the opportunities as they arrive, because I don't think we can plan for what who's going to get what opportunities i mean we depending on how we end up being the nobles thing like these two could be guards so it could yeah, make we sense could be that me and gideon might be burly perfect bodyguards yeah. and then the rest of us are traditional servants yeah, remember me servants can handle the stealth stuff yeah servants of his household doesn't <laughs> mean you can't carry weapons there's house guard like mm -hmm. yeah because we'll be able to sneak around, and then these two can talk to people. She can use the pity route, because oh you know, she's blind, and everyone will be like, oh, you poor thing. You know? A blind servant. For oh, the first time, I consider she's small. Mythos. <laughs> she's small, so she can, you know, same thing, kind of. I don't know. And one thing I could suggest is maybe Mikhail goes for a slightly alternative route as an option if he goes and leans into his chef skills because kitchens are a great place for gossip. They are. They are. Also, alternatively, kitchens are a yeah. great place to poison people. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that... She's not wrong. Oh, true. She's not wrong. Sorry, I just got unnerved. 
still restraining himself from drinking that so, poison. Uh, not milk. Miss, uh, so, Farron, like you, you have the uh, thieves' tools training, yeah? Mm-hmm. Might want to look into a masterwork thieves' tool kit. See what they got there. That might be something helpful. Uh, they come in masterwork. Yes. Most really? Do. They get fancy bonuses. <coughs> Do you think the camping kit's any good to keep anymore, or should I look into something else? At least for the next three months? Uh, I think we'll be camping for a while. It, I don't think we'll need it too much, because we're probably going to be staying at this guy's estate for the most part. Yeah. yeah if you're if you're a chef, you could switch to the mess kit. Uh -huh. Do some actual cooking. See if there's a masterwork one that lets you make, I don't know, ninja food that makes you, like, twice as stealthy. There isn't. Well, I mean, no. <laughs> but my crab probably give masterwork rations. We have yet to eat his food. <laughs> We've come yeah, this far. We're not gonna oh, summon his crab inside the estate. <laughs> Why not? You want a giant crab in a kitchen? Go go bam go bam pa pow pow bam ba bam bam. All of the risen to feel that exposure and come. Look, it's not a Matharian crab. To be fair. Just well, a crab. Um, but it's just his a crab. exposure is hallowed, and they hunt hallowed exposure. So when he Touché. casts magic, it's hallowed that's hallowed. Now. That's <laughs> also a concern. But... Uh, that's 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 an out of character yeah. thing. I don't uh, know. Uh, yeah, that's not. I'm saying out of character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> will the risen summoning be your able mount to, like, is not a good idea. Tense. Are poison the the ones that are like what's it called? Metharius kiss kiss yeah. Mm -hmm. Will they be able to feel those because they'll know they're or not? Like, will we be able to sneak in with those? Sneaking in with what? Metharius kiss. Will the will the undead be able to sense it like they can sense us? I mean, they'd have to be looking for it. I mean, I'm not mm -hmm. going to tell you they can't, but at the same time, like, just because you can de detect something doesn't mean that it's always on. Most detection effects have abilities or senses attached to it that have to be activated. Not everybody has, like, Thorn is a, an exception because she has an aura of blind sense around her all the time because mm -hmm. that's how she sees. But, I mean, basically, if you don't give them a reason to go looking, then they're probably not going to find it. Hmm. Yeah, that's one of those things. But yeah, but it doesn't give off like, exposure conscious. or anything like that. When Thorn is unconscious, you can't blind sense anymore. But yeah. Yeah. Um. Could. Does the church have enough knowledge on the risen to know what useful, like anti risen measures and weaponry would be? Yeah. Um, or anti undead or... stuff. Okay. They're, they're undead, so you're. Sta your staple practitioner armaments can handle that. Like Metharius they... Kiss, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, Arcade M is a very serious out of character question. There's no way I could pay my portion to fast travel the chainmail here. <laughs> I'm being uh, so serious. Where where did you order it? No, remember we got it fixed at that. Um, the last place we're... at the tavern. tavern. At the dwarf the name of the tavern. Well, what you can do is you can just have a courier be sent. The answer to your question is yes, you can get it here because you're going to be here for a while. So you can get a courier right. to go and grab it for you. But it's Brannigan's also a isn't that far armor, away. Is not? So wearing it is also kind of moving. Yes. I suggest we all get chain shirts or armored robes to wear under servant clothes, you know, just in case. Because I would mm -hmm. just retrain to wear that, to get, and I could have it mastered, which would be concealed. I wear it under my clothes. What are the masterwork thieves tools options? Uh, masterwork thieves tools uh, saboteur, which allows you to change the activation step of a trap or magical trap to be anybody that you choose. So. You get to change the fo uh, friend and foe designation on a trap or a magical trap, which is very cool. 
That is actually really helpful. Uh, any masterwork uh, stone cutters kits? No, nothing that would be relevant. Okay. What if he needs to break through a wall? You well, can do that that's... with a stone cutting kit. Yeah, oh. like that, that's that's Touché. the. <laughs> you, can just, you can just do that. <laughs> you can just do that with the master of it. Yeah. Um. Can you still use these masterwork kits without having mastery in them? Yes. Oh, the yes. masterwork is a property. It's like, it's like a weapon property. If you're holding, if you're using the weapon, it has that property. Okay. Mm. You still masterwork have to, me. It's you better. still you still have to have proficiency with that kit, though. Okay. How would you if I want to get the ma uh, the proficiency? How would I check if I have proficiency if I want to get the chef's kit? Chef's kit. You do you? You just have it. Like, what are your kit proficiencies? I think, I think just camping. How? Where do I go to check that? You probably only have camping currently. I think probably only. Camping Everybody, to every character, every character has one, unless they get extra options from classes and races and other features. Yeah. I'm 99% sure you started out camping. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I have mess kit, though. Halfling having mess kit? No way. Halfling <laughs> having mess kit? Crazy. <laughs> a little, that's a little racist. <laughs> Everybody else makes it wrong. I think you're perpetuating a stereotype right now, Waymaker. I am. I am. I am. Where's my second breakfast, DM? <laughs> Immediately. Um, Elevensies? Yes. Afternoon tea? <laughs> dinner? <laughs> Supper? Supper. I would ask uh, Sir Lemoon if if there is if he has suggestions as to the best way that we could be involved in any sort of I guess city type tasks like ah, like so jobs. shopping and things for him. Yeah, so you can also get jobs in the city uh, later in your mission if you just think that it would get you closer. So that's something else you can consider as well. Okay. Like you don't act. You're not actually his servants. That's just a guise. Right. He has a way to get you into the higher upper nobility by having you be really good servants, which is just a suggestion from him. But you guys could do things like go out and get so a job can. somewhere else. You could yeah. fuck it. Like you literally have every option in front of you to do with as you please. Very good. So, are there any masterwork forgery kits? Uh. Um, th yes, but they're heretical. <clears throat> I mean, that's a good disguise. Uh, mm -hmm. maybe I should reiterate that. The Inquisition <laughs> would not be okay with that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what, I missed that? What? There's, first um, you had my curiosity, now you have my attention. He, mm -hmm. he, he was asking me for Masterwork Forgery Kits, but unfortunately... The only one that would be relevant is considered heretical because it has the capacity of copying faction badges, uh, which includes uh, uh, the churches. I so, see. Yeah. Ah. See, HR now, would want to speak. To that you being after said, you the Inquisition is one of the ones that can go around the rules a little bit, but it, 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 that would make it, it, me squint. too far out of bounds. Yeah. Got it. All right. Are there oh, concealed... I... Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Are there concealed range weapons? Concealed? No, concealed is an armor property. Oh. Yeah, because there are... There, there, are there are hidden weapons, yes. Okay, is there a hidden ranged weapon? Yes, a hand crossbow can get the hidden property. Oh. Yep. But it is also a fancy one that requires training. Yes, exotic. Yes, indeed. Mm, yes. Well... I do However, like have... knives can be hidden very easily. What about mm -hmm. a blowgun? Can a blowgun be hidden? Oh, you better believe it can, Essie. <laughs> hey. Uh-oh. Oh. Gotta shoot <laughs> some poison darts? Please, dear God, have somebody actually play blowgun. It's so well, good. I mean, oh, I might because I already have proficiency in if we're swapping all of our gear to be sneaky. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I might blowgun. 
Yes. Uh, all right, good. Call any Wait, master work poisoner's chemo. kits then, since we have the mysterious kiss. Any fancy uh, poisoner's there, kits that can. There are. So there's two masterwork poisoner's kits. There's. This is where it gets weird. So uh, one lets you make uh, anointed poisons for dealing with undead, and the other one deals with a specialization in ingested poisons. Ah, so eating. Yeah. Oh. That's like spy mm-hmm. stuff, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, how mm-hmm. spy are y'all feeling? Y'all feeling spy? Have Mikael, or no, have Ginny cook some uh, cook some food and, you know, throw some, throw some I'm stuff. Yeah, the Risen don't eat. Mm-hmm. Well, but... we're not going directly after know. the Risen right away. Um, I might suggest uh, Mr. Grace and I get a job somewhere as cooks at some, you know... Uh, commonly frequented restaurant or something like that, local inn, somewhere where people mm-hmm. would be coming and going all the time, getting lots of information. People tend to speak to their barkeeps. And I can do I quite a bit I'm with. To drink. Oh no, you're good. It's right. really hard to tell, to tell with big people. How soon wait. are you allowed to drink? Wait, wait, wait. What'd you say? Mythos? I said he wouldn't know. He's not old enough to drink. Mythos is only 20. He's not 21. That 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 is not the drinking age in medieval times. Oh. The drinking, yeah, drinking. Never mind. The drinking I've age. I've been drinking since I was 12. You're considered a man at 15. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, and you can drink at 14. Oh. Actually, never you, mind, can, you can drink at... This guy looks old enough. That's when you can <laughs> drink. Mr. Thrain, we're going drinking. He said 21. I'm going to get you a drink. That's crazy, dude. Please watch over him closely. <laughs> 20, Man, 21, half life. 21 in Most medieval ages brothers. is a fucking middle-aged man, dude. <laughs> That's half your <laughs> life right there. It'll be Jenny, fine. Please. He can handle it. My, my brothers don't drink, Jenny. Please be careful with them. What? Why not? What do you mean? I, I drink water all the time. You... Oh, I love mm. you, Gideon. <laughs> Halflings drink pretty well, early on. What is the church's outlook on time. inebriation? When do they find it appropriate? Uh, sacramental wine is used in most Mitharian rituals, so drinking is not really an issue for them. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, good to know. I mean, obviously, being a drunkard is bad, but like, they don't give a shit about any of that. Plus, halflings gotta fuel that tiny metabolism with yeah. something. But <laughs> if, all um... the carbs you can possibly also, get. Also, in case it ever comes up again, um, they also don't care about. Like, the separation of the sexes, like, separate bathrooms, separate beds, stuff like that. Or separate yeah. sleeping areas. They're very, I think we um, showed that pretty well. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying in case anybody mm-hmm. in chat's listening. Anyway, continue. We're yeah, we communal well together, but if Mikael and Ginny are working together, then perhaps Gideon and I can work together. I can do a lot as a medic, as a doctor. And the condition shouldn't interfere with that. And he can be there to watch my back easily. Uh, or whoever. I, I don't know anything about medicine. No, no. You're to make sure that I'm not hurt since all ostensibly people may not be comforted with their doctor in heavy armor. There's a vulnerability there. So you want me to be your bodyguard? It's an option. I am racking my brains for ideas. I am I am open to others' thoughts. Um. I mean, if infiltration and investigation is what we want to do, then me and Miss Farron will be the two most capable of getting that done. Agreed. Definitely. Uh, I wonder if perhaps we could find ourselves a, some sort of job as a as a house meet, you know, like a scullion or a, a launderer or something. Going into people's homes and, and clean, cleaning their things. Hmm. Are we just abandoning being good servants? We could also do that. Yes, that too. Of so, course. A noble house would have a house doctor, right? Or... Is that a different time sort of thing? 
we're going to be here for a few months, so... Was that a question at Arcadium, or are you saying that to Yeah. Us? Okay. Yeah, I, I... I... I don't know his structure around noble houses. I was fucking muted. Serve. God damn okay. it. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, what was Where your question? Where did we leave you? What was your question? I'm sorry. Um, Would it be unusual or whatnot for noble houses to have, like, a medic doctor... No. On their personal... St- okay, yeah. No, so I, I have an idea here. Yeah, the higher, not... the higher the higher they are, the more likely they have it. And also, um, this might be risky, but one mm-hmm. of the few most tolerated aspects of the church is the Shield's uh, medical services, which only the most fervent anti-Metharians uh, don't want around. Everybody's good talking that shit until their kids cough and they can't figure out why. You know what I mean? So mm. that's one thing you can keep in mind as well in your back pocket. But yes, uh, there's plenty of there's plenty of reason for an apothecary, which is what your title would be. You, doctor is really not a thing. Um, oh, you, apo- apothecary is what you'd be. Well, not yet, at least. This is this is still back in the times when the fucking doctor you'd go to is also your barber. Like you know, it's like one of those things, but. Yeah, medic and, healer. And anyway, medic is the military term, and that's also fine. But but oh. the, but, but the point is, yes, it, it is completely sensical for somebody of that level of nobility to have a personal uh, apothecary that deals with their sickness and stuff like that. So that's definitely okay. a guy's you could take on. Uh, then me and Gideon could just be the guard he has, for obvious reasons. Oh yeah, uh, we fit the bill. What would uh, Genevieve do and Faerun do? Faerun. 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 Um, Sir Ponko suggests that he's in need of a good courtier as he looks at Faerun. Mm. What is that? What is that? Uh, a, okay, so a, well, you guys would know this. A courtier is somebody that deals with the matters of the court. So it's kind of like a, per, a, a personal assistant, a secretary, um, a herald, all that stuff all in one. So oh, he, okay. he, he's, major, he's major nobility, so that means he'd have to attend court from time to time. And having somebody that can go in his stead to listen in on things, and that would make sense to be with him when he goes into places where deals are being made. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. I suppose I could fit that description, but I am a little... Mm, brusque around the edges. I He'll smile. Would... Oh, yeah. You you feel you feel like that's one of the reasons why he suggested it. <laughs> She'll nod. You guys could also dress as princesses and seduce sharkmen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'd never pass for a no. princess. <laughs> oh no, you definitely could. I'd never pass for a princess. You're plenty charming, never. Jenny. Trust also, in yourself. You always pass as a child, Genevieve. <laughs> no, no. Oh. That's racist. Wrong type oh, of halfling. No. That's, that's, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So we have guards for a noble, we have a potential courtier. A, a medical person, apothecary. I still think that my restaurant idea is good, if anyone's okay with that. A Sir personal Pen- chef? Sir Penko will say, I could always use a chef. Do people... Mm-hmm. Do people come to your house uh, often and, and speak to their chef? Oh, especially if they're... Well, especially if they're well-known... Uh, what I can do is introduce you to some people and maybe they want to sample some of your food. Plus, I host parties and I'll need good food and the chef is thanked if the food is good. That's good. Um, and if you build up your reputation... Question. Actually, I have a follow-up question. Do, do servants of other houses often come to assist chefs when they're doing their work for you? Hold on two seconds. I have a phone call. Wow, he's so and... fancy and high-tech. Over the, over the course of three months, starting the job here and being known as the chef to the Lord makes it easier if you decide to retire from his service and work at a tavern or such that you were more implying. I suppose that's true. It builds something of a backstory, just a possibility. 
Hmm. Very good then. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Nervous? Mm -hmm. And I? Always. Isn't this, you know, your original faction's whole deal? Uh, the start was a lot of a mess. I don't want to hum. Hmm. No, if it was for the best. Assault Spire, we should probably talk about some things when you have time. I... Not... It's not a, a topic for everyone, but... If if you're willing, I would love to. Good. <sighs> mm -hmm. oh, so, sorry. I don't know what happened. Out of, out of character while he's, while he's yeah. on the phone call. Yeah, yeah, since yeah. I'm kind of sort of like new to Corvanus, help me out with the... Uh, Hopping part of it, like I don't, I don't know either. The I have, I posted the um, the shopping. I put in notes, and I'm trying yeah. to brainstorm as best as I can, but I have no clue. So my question, Arcadem, since you're back, um, mm. is because I'm new to Corvanus, and I kind of got, I, I, I mean, I made a character, but most of my equipment was just kind of handed to me. Uh huh. It, you just kind of gave it to me, and it had properties to it. Mm hmm. How does that work when it comes to buying this new equipment okay. with properties or without, like, help? All right, check this out. Mm. I'm going to hit you with this link. <laughs> Is it the wiki? Is it the smithies? It, yeah. I'm, I'm on the wiki right now. Are, are you on the crafting side of it? Oh, I don't know. Right, Probably let me, not. Let me hit you with this link. Yeah, yeah, do let it. Let him hit okay. you with that link. The link I know right. very well. Notes, boom. Shadow's link. Click that. Well, pow, I've been hit with a link. Okay, you see at the very top where it says Masterwork Crafting Costs? Uh-huh. So, whenever you add a... Um, whenever you add a crafting property... Or, uh -huh. or, or a property onto an item in which to purchase it... That's its base cost to make. Most items, if you buy them but don't craft them... Cost double that. For profit purposes. So, for example... Let's look at your items, right? So I can give you a, a rundown here. Sure. Let me let me hit you with some knowledge. Okay. So your uh, little wasp, right? Your little yeah. wasp has the hallowed property, which is tier three. And that's the only property it has. So that means your weapon is a tier three weapon, which is 400, uh, excuse me, 200 gold to make 400 gold at market value. You with me so far? Math is tricky. Yes, but no. All right, what are you confused on? Uh, so how is it cheaper and more expensive again? Talk me through that one okay. more time. So the the numbers listed there, where it says mm -hmm. masterwork crafting costs by NPCs, yes. those costs are equivalent to what the tier of the item is if you okay. were to craft it. That's the crafting cost. Okay. The market cost oh. to purchase it is normally double that, but there are adjustments that can be made with merchants' kits and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. And if you want to see the tier of skills, I just posted the smithing link. Because that actually tells you the tier of the different oh. properties to base off of. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you wanted, like, a padded silvered, that's a tier one and a tier two, so it'd be tier three. You'd get both of those bonuses, and then the cost would be, like he said, the 200 to make or the 400 to buy. So, basically, you add up whatever bu features you're getting to get the total tier, and then you compare that to the cost. So, I guess the question is, do we have access to a crafter, or are we going yes. to have to pay... Well you, have ah. well, you have access to a merchant that you can buy these items from that he has available. So they're going to be market price and not crafted price. Well, they'll, they'll be discounted, but yeah. Okay. They'll be at, um, probably with a 
twenty percent discount. Mm. So that means if you wanted to buy a tier four item, it would be uh six hundred and forty gold at that rate. Mm. And that's you, going to eat our gold real fast. <laughs> well, that's why you want to buy stuff mm -hmm. that that's good for you. So if you mm -hmm. got if you want to split it evenly, you each get two thousand gold to work with. And um yeah, if you want to get the really high tiered stuff, it's gonna be expensive. But you know, lower tiered items are still useful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And don't worry, you'll have plenty like you don't have to finalize any of this right now. I want yeah, to be clear yeah. on that. You guys got plenty of time to talk it over, yes, to figure it out. Don't worry. You're not in a rush or anything. You got plenty of time. This is me just setting up everything for you to have mm -hmm. it all in front of you for this purpose. Because you guys have reached the point of the campaign where you're transitioning to the new one. I have the downtime coming up in which I'll be working on back-end stuff. And you'll have all that time to get all your shit together. Your actual deadline is when we start up again. That's yep. it. Is there a property for concealed that can be added to something or is it only concealed stuff can be stuff that already has it concealed is a property that can be added to weapons and armor uh concealed is a tier two property okay i believe is no. is there an improved conceal no okay uh it should be noted that concealed is a tier two property when added on a piece of armor that does not have it I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I just what I wanted to know because I know some of them had it, and I just wanted to make mm -hmm. sure that we could put it on. Like you said, someone could make a plate armor with concealed. I guess. Yeah, they could, but it adds two to the tier. Yeah. All right. I mean, right now my big thing would be probably if you need armor for some reason. Look at what properties you want. Probably grab concealed so you can actually move around in it. I don't think we'll be needing padded as a person who benefits from that in another game. Because I don't think we'll be sleeping in strangers' places unless someone gets reassigned. Uh, do uh, we know what adamantium does? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm actually wrong there. Um, concealed is uh, one of the variant tiers. It is a tier 1 item... Uh, property for light armors, tier two for medium, and tier three for heavy. Okay, mm -hmm. so it scales up, but still Thank pretty, you. still pretty accessible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what y'all are working with armor wise. Hmm. I mean, I'd say armor. Get those kits. And yeah. Figure out what to do with the leftover money afterwards. And then, um, do I need to have disguise kit and the proficiency just for, like, Thorn's makeup if I'm not trying to do any disguises or impersonations or whatnot? Because I couldn't reasonably do that, I think. It's really just makeup if it's makeup. Yeah, if it's makeup, then it's yeah. makeup. It's not a disguise you want, kit. If you want okay, to be another excellent. person, that's what a disguise kit's for. Yeah. Makeup is just fucking makeup. Put it on. Know, Little did Thor okay. know. Do girl shit. She's been putting her makeup know. on wrong, yeah. and she's been given like weird black lines all Don't over the place. Don't ask me. Male brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get some we guideline on anything. you yet. Yes, mansplain makeup to the women. Yeah. Yes. Do we yes. Do we? Well, wow, you guys blind. don't use makeup? Do that. That's crazy. It's a shame. I don't. I believe in my natural beauty. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's. Oh yeah, high that five, Arcade. Let's go. I don't high believe fives. that at all. <laughs> Pew. And with that, I think we're at time. Or was there anything yeah, else we're, that we're people wanted to? Yeah, we're at time. You guys got time. Talk about mm -hmm. it. You got plenty mm -hmm. of time. Uh, next week, we're going to go over role play <laughs> for prestige classes and prestige classes themselves. Uh, my goal is to... Man, I really am going to try and have them all done by Wednesday and Thursday. But cool. I'm cranking them out. I'm about halfway done, I think. Nice. A little over, the maybe. The sooner you get them done, the sooner I can get them out at the foundry. Because that's uh, going to take a while. Mm -hmm. There's some fucking good ones, though. Man, I've been, I've been spicing it up. 
Oh, ever since you like mentioned Veteran Mercenary, that one sounds really fucking cool. I actually finished that one last night. Oh. That one's sick. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Thanks for the assistance there, Caped. Yes. Alrighty, got give all it. that done. Good to go to gumdrops. I like your eight Fan art, art. fan art. Alright, let's see if there's any fan art. Bro, oh, there's, there's, there's so a lot of fan art. art. There's some hot you fan have to art, my goodness. Scroll up. <laughs> All the fan art. So much. Oh, I love Casey. So much. And then there's 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 some then there's some in there as well. I, I love me. I love Luke. Oh, I, I love I haven't Luke. Even, I, haven't even, I, I haven't even seen it, but I bet Luke's been throwing some fucking memes I, in there. I dude. love Luke. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right. First up He's we have is Magic Card Thorn Salt yeah. Spire. Um, yes. Double Strike Shroud. I agree with that. Start your turn. Deals mm. one damage. That's good. That's good. Yeah, and it works with my... My daddy Darian deck. Uh, six Making... mana seems expensive. But... Oh, it white is white is not very efficient on mana. It's it's tragic. I'd also argue that she's white black, not pure white, but that's Ooh, another thing. There. Very good. Just oh my god, just say <laughs> no to light mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chamber was the reacting immediately as you were blinding him. The poor guy. <laughs> Lenter Bridge, <laughs> Cinematic Universe. <laughs> it's happening. Yes, it's it's happening. happening. Dude, Thorn, can I sleep with you? My blanket might be haunted. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <it> might be. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid to ask. She adores you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, Gideon. Oh, yeah. We gotta, we gotta flex. Born flexing. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm mm hmm You know it. Mikhail goes blind, closes the eyes. This oh, that was a really, really good. good, that was a really good moment, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you ask these questions with Aaron? Because I've never heard her voice before. That was good. Mm-hmm. This next one, though. Dude, this next yeah. one. So oh, this my is the God. Of That's my sins. Me. Some quality, man. That's some oh, good oh, fucking oh, darkest dungeon art right now. Freaking man. sick. Oh, 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 glittering gold. Man. I'm saving that. Photo. My brother Mithera, I'm going to need you to pay attention. Don't touch my bone halo. I actually really like this one. I think that one's great. Oh, that one's. Oh, this is a <laughs> Church of Gains. Yeah. yeah, she had she had Gables, she yeah. had her swole up, dude. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The swolly Bible. Mm-hmm. This That's next one good. though. That's pretty Mythos? good. Oh, the swolly Thibel. I like that. Yeah. Blade with his girlfriend. Yes. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. one's great, dude. I like this nah. one. Nah, isn't it cool? Oh my gosh. It's so cool. <laughs> and then there's... Oh my god, wait, <laughs> that was so fast. What? Yeah, it's very. I know. Fast. And then oh there's goodness. this he shit, wants... dude. <laughs> they want the horrible last one, my lord. On. I love him. Uh... <laughs> Jimmy has never seen Marlo. What are you talking about? I drink water all the time. I love you, bro. Don't did ever you know change. sleeping next to someone who loves you, who you love, makes you fun? Uh... <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> uh, shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck, dude? I miss Bourbon. Luke is on oh. the shit today. We come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. Oh my uh, god, it's so cute. Is, 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 oh. am I being wooed? Is, is this, being, yes. is this what being wooed is like? Bro, this, that, this is the secret. All of his riz. Ginny's <laughs> been Marlo's wife this whole time. She just didn't know it. <laughs> Bro, what the know it. That's why his wife's never been around, because she didn't know she was his wife. Man. Oh my gosh. Man. <laughs> Giddy, my beloved. <laughs> All right, and uh, good game, everybody. That was Very great. Good. Thank you. Oh, All right. Goodness. I'm looking forward to spy stuff. Oh, man, it's going to be sick. Very good. 
Uh, thank you guys for all of the uh, support. Thanks for all the follows. Thanks for all the subs today. That was really cool. Uh, you guys are great. Um, as for the hot tub stream, still working on a time for that. I have not forgotten about it. I will still provide it. Your money was not wasted. I will figure out something to do with that <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I will buy you a hot tub, Arcadum. Oh, I will boy. do it. Please don't. He will ship it to you via Amazon. Also, also, yes. also, I have nowhere to put it. I, 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 I will put it on your roof. I don't care. You're getting one. Please work on classes in Discord. Um, I might later. I might later. I, I, I it's harder to work with people looking over your shoulder. I mean, I actually mm-hmm. like it. It makes me laugh, but um, oh, okay. I just we're also very distracting. When, <laughs> see, the problem is people start talking about fucking weird shit, and then it'll distract me. <laughs> Stares as a hob. So many, yeah. So many but, challenges. And what I'll probably do, actually, doing. I'll just work in the Discord, and then I'll stream it, and then I'll just mute everybody and just fucking listen mm-hmm. to music. That's yeah, don't let us distract yeah. you. Yeah, I don't mind yeah. doing that. Anyway. uh I'll see you guys later. I might be in the Discord later to work on it in public, or I'll just work on it privately. I don't know. But you'll you'll Very see cool. it soon enough. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye.